Hi! I can't figure out what's going on with my guitar right now. It won't, uh... Sorry for this sound. Yo, what's going on, Devios Desert? Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, I was playing some Dremel music, um, and I was hoping my guitar would uh, would work and behave with me. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the battery died? Membership renewed. Whoa, now! Thank you so much for renewing your membership, Deborah Hill, for three months. Oh my gosh, N YouTube side niece, what's going on? Says Dremel stream, yippee, king, membership hello. Renewed. Elliptical for four months. My goodness. I really haven't streamed in a while, have I? Or you guys are just being amazing today. Thank you. Vivoid, hello. Broxy Games, Munch. Hi, everybody. Biffu Reuven. I will always get your name wrong. Hi. Avid, I'm building Cooper while watching the stream. Let's go, King. That's awesome. Hi, Goaty. Hi. Hello. Hey, Avid. Favorite command block coder. <laughs> How's it going, Devios? Uh... June Bear asks, Yo, Avid, how's it going? It's going great. Except I can't get my guitar to make sounds. Broxy Games, four months over on YouTube. Cooper emojis, I love it. Thank you. Mm. Um, I was trying to figure out, it, you're not going to hear it as perfectly, but that's the Dremel, like, song that when you're in, it, 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 what's the actual song called? Uh, this is called, uh, it's literally the original soundtrack, the primordial original soundtrack. And I was trying to figure out the, the chords for it. It's like an, it's an F minor. And then it goes into like a D minor. And then I was trying to figure out where it went from there. And then I was like, my guitar, I can't hear it through my ear. So I'm going to have to fix that off camera. But today, let's fix my camera here. Boop. Because it was picking up on something. Ah, what's with the beard? I just grow it sometimes. <laughs> my my facial hair is uh. Let's put this song on. My facial hair uh, situation is basically I grow it out uh, until it's itchy, and then I shave it. Uh, usually I try to keep my neck trim though because ain't nobody want that. <laughs> Okay, all right. Hydrate. Thank you so much for that reminder. Nightmare says, hey, Avid, guess what? I'm back. Hey, I'm back. I'm dad. What's going on, hippo? What's going on, magic? Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to a Dremel stream. I'm actually very excited. I'm very excited. Why am I excited today? Because I want to hit 100%. Hang on, it's loading. It'll, it'll figure itself out here. Uh, once I do that. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Chris, um, I was just saying, sorry guys, voice mod and a bunch of other things. Um, the, your original soundtrack is beautiful and I love the melody of it. And, uh, I wanted to do something today, but I just didn't have enough time. But what makes it easier to play on guitar, especially the chords is you bar, you put a bar. I have a little capo here. You bar on the first uh, fret and that lets you play that F minor without, uh, having to worry about putting your finger across the frets right so it's like maybe you know the chords and maybe you can tell me but now i'm all transposed it's like do 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 and then i don't know where it goes from there and i'm gonna figure it out do 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 i love that i want to do something with that at some point maybe i'll maybe for like my last dremel stream i'll do a little something um, but yeah, oh, you're, you're such a talented musician. It's so fun to listen to your, to your compositions. The Overture. Avid never heard a single ambient song. I don't know what that means. <laughs> What's going on? Oh my goodness. First time chatter. Willow, uh, hello. Have a duck t to aid you in your travels and enjoy. Thank you. Saichu, hello. Oh my goodness. Hello, everybody. 
I'm trying to keep up with chat today, and I am unable to. <laughs> I am unable to. I'll do my best. I, For those of you who know, I simultaneously stream on YouTube and Twitch, and I have both of you there. And they, that means both chats go by very quickly, and I do my best. This guy is legit going to miss the main Le Motif. I'm betting on that. <laughs> we'll see. What is Dremel? Oh, this is Dremel. It is... It is the greatest thing to ever be made in Minecraft. I keep upping my my description of it, but I actually legitimately feel that way. Um, this is nothing. You've seen nothing. If, you, if you're here for the first time, and this is your first Dremel stream, you are in for an experience. Nightmare says, I just finished feeding a baby goat. But first they said, just finished... A baby goat which was concerning and i'm glad you you fixed that statement it's ducking time saichu says i just want to thank you. you gave me some uh some youtube and twitch advice a while back and it really helped me gain some confidence thanks avid you're so welcome saichu i should take my own advice <laughs> oh there's water in here uh, i think i see a chest i'm sure there's something in there so I'm gonna try to get in here real quick, and then and then we'll talk about our goals for today. <laughs> but I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope everyone's having a good day. I was sick last week. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, there's a chest. I knew it. I'm here for the first time, Elizabeth. Hello and welcome. Welcome. Hello. Oh. Okay, it's a special sword. I figured it was just gonna be one of your regular runic uh, catalysts. Let's take a quick look at this bad boy. Crest of Mecta. Knockback 2, Sweeping Edge 5, Unbreaking 10. This is a cool sword. Heavy blade used by the ancient leader of the Mecta tribe before the first unification at Ar Arizor Forks. Interesting, interesting. Jan, you were sick yesterday. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I was sick. Hi, Zoe. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. It's a wonderful stream. Let's head, let's get everybody to ask. Oh no, my my wings are so broken. I forgot about that. <laughs> um, let's just risk it. It's it's fine. Just don't fly over like something that's too high. <laughs> That'll kill me. Hey, Luxy VT, Avid, hello again, hello. Avid, why are you flying so slow? Thanks, Avid, for extinguish uh, for extending the deadline. Still stressed though. Oh, Munch, I, uh, I'm i happy I could do that for you guys. You know, I wasn't ready either. I needed to take a mental break the last... Uh... Is the sun setting? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I wasn't sure which direction that was, if it was setting or rising. Um, but uh, I, I needed some time. I needed some time. I, you know, I go through these cycles uh, as a creator, and I think everyone kind of does, where you, you, you get a little, you get a little meta for a bit, and you're like, what am I working on? Don't fly too close to the sun. Kiko! Kiko, I'm going to go for 100% today. <laughs> and hi, Kiko. Abby, will you have a little, a live stream for the sentry planned? What sentry? What sentry? Avid Sally, I don't have a PC. I have Xbox, so I play Xbox Dead Rock. There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you're having a good time. Sunset. Yes, indeed. Na, 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 na. Yeah. Yeah, guys, I was, uh, I was taking a bit of a mental break for a bit. A couple, uh, a week, a week or more. Focusing on, on other stuff, Adventure Bot, mostly. Um, <laughs> Biff Rufin says, have fun on Xbox, random dude. The YouTube chat is talking to the Twitch chat, guys. YouTube, is Twitch here in the room with us? <laughs> and what's going on, numbers? Mental break, good. Yeah, you know, I go through these, uh, I go through these patterns of, like, intense productivity. It's a hallmark of ADHD. Intense productivity, and then, like, like, the wind is just totally taken out of my sails. Um, and it's like, you know, I just kind of hang out for a bit. And I focus on other things. Oh, you meant Jeff the Sentinel. Jeff the Sentinel. Aha. 
Jeff the Sentinel. I haven't started that project yet. I've been taking it easy. You'll see in the Discord. Uh, LuxDVT says, as a map maker, how do you feel about the craziness of the new snapshots? DVO says, why are you flying so slow? Dang it, DVO, you got me. Um, yeah, the new, the new snapshots are uh, great if you're starting from those new snapshots. Um, if you are, as a data packer, trying to now convert your project over to that new code... You're probably you're probably a little scared, and some people you'll just say ah, there's just converters and yeah and yeah, but you still have to you still have to convert it, you have to run it, you have to test it. It's a lot of time. Minecraft likes to Minecraft data packing is you know they they don't create things with backwards compatibility, so which is understandable. You know it's not like millions of people are playing them. <laughs> <laughs> or billions but i think it's millions but yeah i mean it makes me a little a little worried about my own map and the ability for me to upgrade past 1.20.1 uh, i'll be honest it's it's definitely a concern for me i have i've really prided myself in keeping my map up to date um and definitely yes i get it all you people who are like don't use command blocks this is one of one of those times where if I was just building everything in data packs, I could have just done find and replace and automated a bit of the process of updating. But with command blocks, oh my goodness, what have I done to myself? But my, my argument for command blocks has always ha, has always been that it's a differentiator, not necessarily a benefit. There's some benefits. There's some, but they're few and far between. <laughs> Uh, Kiko says, I won't be allowed, uh, you're, you're feeling ill, Kiko, I, I'm also getting over a cold, so I hope you feel better, and, uh, I'm just glad you could be here. I'm gonna try to hit 100% today on the towers. That's my goal. Waterflow says, can I, I wanna recommend using the AvPod instead of using the stream music. We'll give it a shot, let's see. I've got the AvPod in my inventory. Okay, uh, I was told to make my chat taller, but I haven't done that. Um, let's see, browse... Play random. Oh, Mountain of Holes. We got Mountain of Holes. <laughs> well, you asked for it. <laughs> so now enjoy the terrifying sounds of this ambient music. <laughs> You're going to need to make chat larger. I'm not going to need to do nothing. That's the best part about me being me, as I always say. I don't got to do a thing. <laughs> Let's get up this tower. We're doing all the towers today. We're getting the last towers today, guys. Eh. Okay, good. Let's take our... Uh... The one thing uh, is when I play the in-game music, it does pause the music and gets a little awkward when I, when I pause there. This is a vibe, yeah. Ambient, not playlist, what I'm saying. The actual playlist music. What are you talking about? There's a playlist? You can make playlists. Yeah, I knew that. Uh... I can't. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. So we have, I think, four towers left to find today. <laughs> Luxie says, by the way, I love Cave Face. Um, also, I saw a message. Somebody said it in the chat. Hang on a second. Um, I constantly, uh, Saichu says, I don't know why, but I constantly forget you're not British. Every once in a while, I go, where's the British accent? And then I remember you never had one. I think there's like an oversaturation of Minecraft British YouTubers. I'm almost certain that there's almost like an academy of of of, of Minecraft YouTubing that that every K through 12 British uh, citizen has gone through, and their choice in career paths is either they go into traditional industry or they become a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, prove me wrong. I I dare you. I'm not British. I'm not British. I mean, by descendancy, possibly. Um, Nee says, I was going to draw Avid playing Dremel kind of thing. Going to have to speed run it a little because I can only draw one hour a day. Ah, I get it. Avid, don't forget about the script I made to find commands in a world. That is true. Finding them is one thing. Updating them is the other. You seem British. Very British. What makes me British? What makes anyone British? <laughs> Wouldn't it normally be like how their voice? 
British University of Minecraft content creation, exactly. All right, so we have that island to go to. We have four towers. We have one, two, three. And then there's one more outer tower that I don't, I think it's there and that one shouldn't be highlighted, but it is. Um, so yeah. I don't know, I saw a spoiler and then it went away. Um, I'm gonna try to get these two because they're right next to each other. So we're gonna do the boat action stuff. Um, and I need to figure out how to best get there. Uh, this place. So that is in the Western Towers. And it's sandy. Yellow sand. So we're gonna try to go to there. Jeff, 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 yeah. The accent makes you British. I feel like bo being born in the UK might make you British. Okay, it's Castle. Thank you. British. I don't... I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> not even gonna try. <laughs> I think the Terminus theme goes F minor, E flat major, F minor, D flat major, E flat major, repeat. That's actually very helpful, and I'm stealing that. You compose almost everything by ear, so you're not 100% sure. That is so cool. Okay, hang on a second. I don't know why my guitar is not playing through my uh, audio today, so I'll have to fix it for tonight's stream. F, okay, so F minor, E flat major is why it's so hard for me to get. E flat major, but that's a little bit, so something like this, like, here, I'll play, I'll, I'll get the mic closer to it. Now D flat major, you're a monster. You're a monster with these flats. There it is. Yeah, but that's right there. Okay. Uh, e. So F, E flat, F, D flat, E flat. Okay. So. Nice, that's it, yeah. Wait, sorry, I got that last chord wrong. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for saving me all of the time of trying to figure that one out. Those are some flat notes, you flat, you're using a lot of flats there. <laughs> I am British and can confirm that's true. Franklin, I knew it. You have such a calming voice. Thank you. Thank you. Um, all right. We There's a request to play some Chris Nesia. Today is a Chris Nesia day, and I hope I'm saying your name correctly. I'm probably not. But let's do some, let's do some nice songs here. Let's do the overture. Get a little bit of that music going. Because what a genius. Amazing, amazing music. Um, all right. We're going to go north. Oh, you know what? I should repair my elytra super duper quickly. Hopefully I have some phantom membranes at home. If not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Love the guitar, by the way. Yeah, thanks, Bunny. Appreciate you. I try to bring it out every now and then, and then it gets kind of cringe, and then I put it away, and then I forget that it was cringe, and so then I bring it out again, and then I force you to listen to me, and then I put it away after it gets too cringe, and you we rinse and repeat. The Avpod, okay, I see. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to work with some kind of combination of things because the Avpod uh, cuts out when I go into the terminus. Yes, I have two ruined membranes. Oh, we have some stuff we need to put away too. Okay, one thing at a time. Uh, brain, focus, focus, brain. Okay, we're gonna put the wings. I can do that. Um, we have some horse armor. Oh, our wall of stuff is looking great. So much stuff that we've gotten on our quest. So cool. Um, how many item frames do I have? Zero. All right. I think I'm just going to make a chest and just dump some stuff in it. Yep, that's what I'm doing. But this... This we got from last episode. We were, uh... We were in a giant tree. Eh. 
Yeah, please. <laughs> I can't reach. I can't reach the... I'm too short. Oh, okay. I just want to put this away. Please. Yeah. No. Okay. It's like Harry Potter, you know, uh, in the movies when um, they were like that... Oh, the Cratchit guy was making all the rules and he has that giant ladder that it's like swinging from as he's like... Uh, yeah, simply make a playlist. You really want me to sit around and watch? You want to watch me make a playlist? That's probably something I'll do off camera, <laughs> but I will. I will do that at some point. Um, okay, let's dump the rest of our stuff here. What is this? Whisper song. Oh right, this is the bow. Cool. We have a new bow. We'll try that out. Put some of our other stuff away in this chest. All right, Chess, you are now the dumping ground for things that I don't want. Problem is, everything I want. Oh, we have a new map. Mary Jewel. Map. Yes, the map room. Looking good. Oh, I love that guy from Harry Potter. His name is Professor Finch. Oh, okay. Is he actually a professor or just kind of like the janitorial staff? Did bro really put Mythbreaker onto the wall? Yeah. I don't want that. I have a better... Is that Mythbreaker? Which one's Mythbreaker? Is that one Mythbreaker? There's so many weapons. I can't keep track of them all. Um... Oh, gosh. My inventory. It's always... This is the problem with Minecraft. All right. Can we do it? Whew. Epic music. Dang it. Come on now. Ah, Yes! Champion! I don't need a ladder. <laughs> uh, we have a couple of bows. We can put those away. Because now we have this crazy bow that apparently Slypador doesn't like. The literal ultimate weapon of Absom. You're talking about the spear that doesn't work? This one? Which one is it? This one here? It's it's busted. What do you mean the ultimate weapon of Absom? Look at this. It's clear the weapon lacks something. I don't want a weapon that lacks something. I want a weapon that has something. So I will be waiting for the thing that I'm supposed to have. It's inert myth breaker. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the fact that Dumbledore could clean up the school in two seconds. He needs a non-magical janitor to clean Hogwarts is crazy. That's so true. So true. <laughs> Grab his stool. Thanks, Luxie. Thank you. Bye, Nightmare. Bye. Thank you for stopping by. Parents, you are now a dumping ground for things I don't want. <laughs> uh... Maybe drinking a lot of tea can count as you being British. Maybe. Big thoughts on stream. Big thoughts. Uh, there's theories that Fitch is like the poltergeist. Huh. Interesting. He definitely is a poltergeist. Hmm. I don't even know what I was going for with that. YouTube is talking to Twitch again. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. This is the best I can do, people. We're getting all the towers today, hopefully. Oh, an efficiency four book, but I don't have levels because I die all the time. Let's put that away. And I apologize if, if I sniffle, if I sneeze. I've been sick for like two weeks. So ignore that. Just ignore it. Ignore it and just, we're just going to move on. <laughs> uh, let's get some sleep. Best I can do is one tower. You think I can only do one tower today? Thank you. Thank you for the blessings. We'll try. We'll try. I think we do more than one tower. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into another horse. <laughs> Never again. I have this war plate on me, though. Without a saddle. That seems like a bad investment. Oh, well. It's too late. I've already climbed the ladder. All right. So, we're going to go north from Kasai. Uh, we're going to make ourselves a boat. So, we're going to find a tree. My boots are going to break, but I, they are ir they're not repairable, guys. I apparently don't have an axe. Who needs one? I have wings now repaired, and we are going to head north. Which is this direction. And we're off. I currently have slow falling. I'm waiting for that to go away before I fly. It's not going to happen. By the way, Warp Horse outpowers even, overpowers even Calamity, basically. Warp Horse? Like, the horse? How does a horse overpower anything? It's a horse. 
Tell me, explain. There's theories that Finch is a poltergeist like the opposite of Peeves. We'll do the Lord of the Rings two towers. What? The armor, yeah, it gives speed. Oh, that's cool. That's good to know. It's very fast. I mean, speed has always been something of a concern for me. I do move pretty slowly. Um, yeah. But I do have, yeah, I do like having Calamity because I can run pretty quickly with it. But I'm going to make some boats or a boat. Um, try to get across this water because I know that we're going out. I don't have a crafting table. Because uh, I know that we're going to go out to the islands. So let's do that super duper quickly. Get ourselves a birch boat and continue on our way. And this is going to be a little bit of a chill. Just a chill time here. We're trying to get past some skeletons. Uh, how's everybody doing though? Happy Wednesday. I know we stream on Wednesdays uh, in the evenings. I usually stream on Wednesday evenings. But I'm going to stream a little bit in the afternoon today just to say hi to you guys. It's been a while since I've been in Dremel. I'm kind of like making my way back into the into into streaming Dremel again. It hasn't been that long, but I, I took I took some time off and it was nice. <gasps> yes. Dremel music. Jocelyn, eight years old, huge fan, wants to know. Uh, wants you to know her mom just completed all towers. No way, Andy. That's awesome. Let's go, mom. Nee says, I'm a little sick, but apart from that, I'm doing well. Good to hear. Side you'll be lurking. Thank you so much for lurking. New follower. Thank you for the follow. Olivia, Polecat, Olive Pol, Olive Polecat, over on the Twitch side. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. If you want to, I'll say the Viking thing. If you want to tell me how your day is going, let me know. Otherwise, uh, enjoy the stream. Something like that. Yo. What's going on, Dragon. Yeah, so we're going to head over to the islands today. We have four towers left to, to acquire in Dremel. Four. It's not very many. And once we do, I don't know what that's going to be like. Um, but maybe maybe we save it for the stream after that. We'll have to see. Excuse me. I'm in the water, and I would not like to be in this water. Najok says, I voted like 12... What is actually happening? What is... Okay. Anyways. <laughs> now, just as I voted like 1,200 or 120, I think, on Avid dying three plus times. Why don't I have four? That's a good point, by the way. Uh, yeah. Sure. Thanks, Olive, for promoting your Discord. Probably don't need to do that. Mods. <laughs> but thanks. Avid can't swim. Apparently not. Canonically. Oh, yeah, we should have a poll. Hey, if there are any mods on Twitch, can you make the poll? I'll make the poll on YouTube. We'll do this together. Start a poll. Will Avid die this stream? I bet you it's a no. Started it on YouTube. I just started it on YouTube. Twitch mod, if you're there, if you can make the poll. It's a little harder for me to do. Those claws make you look like Lynx from Shadow Fight. Do they? I don't know what that is. Shadow fight. <gasps> Hi, cow. Cows are kind of rare. I'll leave you. You're sacred. Up we go. Okay, so I have a good feeling that islands are that way. Based on the map. So we're going to head down, and we're get the boat in the water, and then we'll hang out with you guys. What is your favorite? Uh, cave face or Cooper? Ooh, ooh those are tough. Wow. Oh my gosh. I would say, considering Cave Face got a whole song, it's gonna have to be Cave Face. It's a great question though. What just happened? Oh, Whisper Song did that. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. All right, allegedly, allegedly. Now, how do I make this go forever? Is it like I hit like F5 or something? No, there's a way for me to like just boat and then I can take my hand off the keyboard. Yes, I'm that lazy. What is it? F. What do I, I reload my F3, F3, uh, anybody, anybody know? <laughs> There's a way. Oopsies. F3T. Okay, we'll try that. Ready? Yeah, reload my, my shaders and no. Read the resource packs. Try one more time. And does not work. Dang it. It's fine. 
I'll survive. <laughs> Just gotta make sure we head north-ish. Towards some island that's out here. F3T apparently only works when you're holding your mouse down. You're going too far to the left. Am I now? Left? Cardinal direction-wise, do you mean I'm going too far to the... Hang on. To the west? F3O? I don't even know what that is. What is that? That's shaders. Apparently. Yeah, I guess it's for mouse only. It doesn't work for, like, holding the W down. Switch keybind for W and mouse. Genius. You need to go north slightly east. Thank you, Kiko. That's what we're doing. Because north is that way. North is this way. North is... North is technically that way. So we're going slightly northeast. Should have had a compass like this whole time. Holding the rightmost control key and pressing the space bar twice when the following registry key is set. That seems very complicated. Round two, Bumblebee or Ohm? Oh, I got to go Ohm on that round, King. Easily Ohm on that one. Nice, choose a random rodent that isn't a guinea pig or rat. Hi, Zoe, welcome back. Thanks for nabbing that message. K-Face only got a song since it's more recent. That's true. Cooper doesn't have a song. Cooper needs a song. Bunny, that sounds like I'm gonna, like, nuke my computer. I don't even know how to make that work. How to do that. Round three, Sklomos or Nodak? Nodak. <gasps> I see something! It's a very tiny something. Oh! It's bigger. It's getting bigger. Okay. We have found an island. Oh, it's pretty. There's like these trees. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. See you, Vivoy. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Now, Doctor, you're going to write a song for Cooper? I encourage that. Is this sugarcane a different color? How is this purple? How is this happening? Is that a shaders thing? Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ignore that. It's purple. Stop. Boat. Okay. Alright. Well, guys, we're on one of the islands. And uh, I guess we're just gonna take a look around. It's covered in grape juice. Oh, that's what it is. Thank you for setting the lights to purple, Twitch, by the way. Twitch has full... Whoa, this grass. Twitch has full control over my lights in the background. And they usually pick very good colors. For those who don't know, I'm streaming simultaneously on YouTube and Twitch. Twitch.tv slash avidmc. Protection 4 book. If I ever have levels and can survive... Surely, that will come in handy. Big if. Let's grab some of that lapis. That's good stuff. Bye, Elizabeth! I use complimentary. It's not purple. Interesting. How are people trusting Avid to survive? Munch, I can do this. You just have to believe. This is such a cool little island. Oh, I love the trees. Oh, it's so pretty. The grass is so purple. I love the grass so much. This is like the color of the grass I want for other side. Oh my gosh. Avid, make a purple island song. Hmm. Purple island. I swam to you from far away. Purple island. Where everything is purple. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> let's see what's going on in this little guy here you got something for me oh yeah you do great song <laughs> it was all right a hey, silk touch all right i can deal with that i like a silk touch book every now and then get some scales going on because yeah our our netherite pickaxe here does not have silk touch right now so i could i could kind of use that um, let's try to sleep through the night. I know it's a little dangerous to put a bed down and then break it. Because that could mean we spawn all the way at spawn, which is scary. I was going to realize there are two purple islands. 
And they both can't have the same name. <laughs> oh, no. Purple and Amethyst Island. Yeah, I'm really curious about what's going on in this island. It's very pretty. I see a house. Let's see what's going on up there. I love it. I love it so much, guys. It's so pretty. Little village here. Little... What is going on? What are you guys doing? Oh, I'll set my spawn here. That's good. I like how uh, when I have the claw and I, like, set my spawn, I, like, rake the bed. Like, like probably tearing all the sheets and stuff. Sorry. Just needed to set my spawn. Don't mind me. Eat, Avid. Eat. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. We have a food problem. Always have a food problem. Oh, it's fine. Excuse me. I will not be answering that phone call. <laughs> Jesse. Hello, Avid. How are you? I'm doing great, Jesse. Doing great. Okay, so what's this? Whoa. It's a mushroom island. Hey there. We have food. Unlimited food. Technically. Uh, though it's not stackable. But in a pinch, I could make mushroom stew from those guys. From their milk. And there's our tower. We have found one of the towers of the four that we're going to find today. Hopefully we find four. I really hope so. I know we can find three. The fourth one's a bit of a mystery to me. Is this some kind of parkour thing? What do you want me to do? Just looking around. Kind of a mushroom that leads up to this house. Hey, Avid, what's going on? For now, from the YouTube side. Nice. I like when people bounce around. YouTube, Twitch. It's nice to see you guys on either side. We have a book here. Let's read. Let's read. With... Okay, it was literally just a book. For once... Dremel's not inundating me with lore. Some kind of puzzle? I think it's just a decoration. Oh, I love this little parkour puzzle. Oh, got to be careful, though. E. There's the prediction on Twitch. I'm going to reset your points. Okay, interesting. Wife calls. Avid, it's streaming time. That was not my wife. It was my lawn, my lawn dudes. I'm going to skip this song. <laughs> it's my lawn, dudes. There's only half the time I'm like, why are you guys showing up to do my lawn? Like, I don't... The lawn looks fine. Eh. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's getting kind of high. Oh, no! Mm. <laughs> it's cool. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not dead. My boots are probably not feeling so good. <laughs> time for Featherfall. I think we're way past the time for Feather. I mean, I'm basically in the end game of Dremel. I don't know if I'm ever going to get Featherfall. Let's get some of the food. Hello, Moo Moos. Milk, milk, milk. Thank you for your gracious milk. I appreciate you. Yeah, we're going to get soup at least. Exactly. Your opinion on the new snapshot, if you've seen it already. The sna new snapshots are amazing. Yeah, Dav, I was already talking a little bit about the new snapshots. Um, they are everything that Minecraft command uh, wielders, coders, have been asking for forever. Um, it is everything and more. The hardest part is going to be people with existing projects like mine. Um, how are we going to move forward? Because the migration is going to be quite challenging. Gosh, sorry. Okay, we continue. <laughs> yeah, the migration for me is almost may not happen i may be stuck in 1.20.1 but you know what what gives me comfort oftentimes is dremel dremel's in 1.18 or whatever they might plan to update but everything seems to be working fine for them so 
you know, I don't feel so bad. I'm not going that way for obvious reasons. Oh! oh! I know I have a water bucket, but I'm I'm kind of I was kind of just trying to flex my my parkour muscles. It's been too long. I haven't been doing the parkours in a while. <laughs> It's a huge W. Uh, they kill. They killed totem farms. I'm not as up to speed on the um, on the like the survival aspects of the updates. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm curious what you think there. Avid, can you show the cool rifle laser sword zenith? Yeah, you mean this thing here? Yeah, this thing's cool. Maybe I'll show it in a sec. All right, we got the island of dusk collected. We are up to 90.6% of all of the towers. We have three towers left. Three. I assume we are heading to the Island of Dawn next. So we will go there. Yeah, it is like a lightsaber. Uh, we are going to go in the... 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 Uh, the north? Uh, the west? No, east. We're going to head east from the Island of Daw Dusk. By the way, Avid, what... Oh, by the way, yeah, hang on a second. Um, so yeah, they killed they killed totem farms. Um, I mean, yeah, like no one sheds a tear on that. I feel like the whole Minecraft totem system in general is just completely and totally busted. Like, it's made hardcore essentially irrelevant. Like, yeah, you're playing hardcore, but really, like, once you get a totem and you have a totem farm and all the supply of totems, you're just playing a normal world. Unless you get Philzud. And then it makes, like, national news, and then you become famous, which I guess maybe that's what everyone's going for. Um, but, uh, yeah, I would say um, that's a that's a massive net W to nerf that kind of thing. Villagers need to be nerfed, too. I think, um, you know, though, like, when you're making video games, now you need to grind them. That's cool. Yeah, when you're making video games, um, you need to not fight the players, uh yay new warp unlock that's right wizard yeah i'll show you how the wizard i'll show you how the lightsaber thing works in a little bit what will happen to the deadliest minecraft server i don't know what that is luxie De deadliest um but yeah when when you're when you're making a game and i've learned a lot about making adventure bot and avid adventures but adventure bot has taught me more about making games because adventure bot really is just a statistical engine that churns out dopamine like that that it, it is very most basic essence is what a video game is um and adventure bot essentially is that and so i've learned a lot about those about making games and instead of when your community comes up with okay like minecraft when your community is like i want to build big and beautiful things but there are a lot of blocks in minecraft that are a pain in the butt to farm glass for instance so I'm going to take all of your villagers um, and unethically dump them into a hole, uh, and I'm going to farm them for their entire living existence. Um, because you, game, have decided that is the only way for me to attain massive quantities of things. Um, so as a Minecraft game developer, you need to realize that you made some kind of tactical error. If, because I don't think anybody wants that to be the meta. That is the saddest, most depressing, uh, <laughs> yeah, dystopian meta ever. So instead, think about how players can get those materials without you needing to enslave the only inhabitants that they li like the only sentient inhabitants essentially that they've come up with. Feather Falling 4! We got Feather Falling 4 boots. Let's go. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's really great. I'll take the blaze powder too. Why not? And the... Yes. Yes. We might be able to survive some falls. Look at our inventory. I might get my runic vessel out real quick and store some stuff. Um, But yeah, you guys see my point, right? You see my point. Lean into what your players want because at the end of the day, and what I've learned a lot about making Adventure Bot, and I think a lot of people who work on any game, they realize this, is... Some of the players are going to end up knowing your game better than you do. They will. Because you, as a developer, you're stuck in the world of developing. 
as much as you want to, you're not going to get to play your game as much as the players. Because if you spend all that time playing your game, then you wouldn't be spending time developing your game. So at the, at the end of the day, your, your players are the experts in what it's like to enjoy your game. And so you need to really consider what they are establishing as the meta. Um, though I will say, having created a game now, people say... Uh, What's kind of interesting is people in their brains make like tier lists of like what's good and bad. Like it's just natural human behavior to say like this sword is the best weapon in the game. This bow is the worst weapon in the game. You guys have done it with Dremel a whole bunch. Um, but like that's so subjective. And I, and I and for the longest time in my head as a casual player of most games, I would just look on like a wiki. I would look at YouTube videos and people would tell me what's good and what's bad. Um, but those things are so ridiculously subjective, and those tier lists are created by such a small portion of your dedicated fan base. It's fascinating. It's fascinating to think about. Like, you need to also take it with a grain of salt. Listen to them, but also then realize that sometimes it's coming from a very small subset of the community. And so you kind of have to, like, you have to tiptoe a line. Um, I can go on and on. Like, creating Adventure Bot or, or any game, um, I learned that you're catering to two very different audiences every time you... When you have a long-running game, you're, can't, you're, you're catering to two different audiences. Um, Jan says, I made a villager farm in Avid Adventures. That's fine, Jan. I, I'm fine with that. Uh, Wizard says, once Avid gets in the fight, I'm going to make him drink water. Hey, that's not nice. Nee says, uh, I meant the way they're... Uh, hang on a second, Nee. Let me see your comment. They're trying to nerf villagers. Isn't really making them much better. It's becoming more grindy. Exactly. And that's not the right way to approach it. It's not just like, thank you for the hydration reminder. Um... Mo Yang saying, hey guys, yeah, I don't want you to make villager farms. Or at least we don't like that meta. So then we are going to make it harder to achieve that meta, yet that meta is still achievable. All you've done is you've just you've just moved the goalposts. You haven't actually solved the problem. So that was that's not a good Maybe it's something that they wanted to do, and I still think like, yeah, if villagers had worked that way from the beginning, I was talking about the villager problem. Yeah, yeah, it's a villager problem. Yeah. And so the fact that they said, yeah, only certain books and certain items can be uh, obtained from villagers from different biomes that they're born in, um, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, the problem is you kind of goofed, and you're catering to, to two audiences. You're catering to a new one who would start Minecraft for the first time, which they still exist, um, and that is the only mechanic they know, and they grow, grow up with it, and they learn how to deal with that. But you have an existing audience who's already done all the work to do that thing. And all you, you haven't changed anything. You're still the, still the end goal to get glass is to get villagers. Um, Notch, and Notch wanted to have players play on four hearts. No kidding. I mean, Minecraft was a way different game back then. Uh, nee says, I really like the villager mod Tango did a while ago. Yeah, his uh, better villagers was really cool. Okay. Whoa, I love that gradient. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a pretty that's a pretty house. Oh, and there's our tower. But, oh, that is, we're going in there. Look at how cool that is, guys. Um, yeah, it's not the right... It's not the right fix. Do I know the right fix for... I think the right fix is to remove that those crazy trades for villagers or make them exhaust and then never return. Um... Which could then end up meaning that people try to just... Maybe it gets even more grim then. Because then they just get a villager. They milk them dry of their precious glass. They murder them. Then they get another villager. So maybe it's not better. Maybe that would make it way worse. But I think the problem is that there are individual items that are just too hard to get. That are highly coveted and important for building. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting problem. And it's not one that I don't think i mean if it was an easy problem to solve they would have solved it uh avid what more should i have added to the skin to what skin house that's a huge thing yeah it's a house <laughs> guess it's a little bigger than a house all right uh let's see how do i whew, uh maybe i can kind of do a little bit of a zoop. yes and this, I love that uh, Dremel always provides me, a lot of the towers provide me with like a little bit of a path up. 
and the paths are always different kind of some kind of parkour challenge uh this one might be a dead end so i will do the thing you meant the skin you made for me the skin you made for me oh yeah that one I have to look at it again. I don't have any specific feedback on it. Uh, Goaty says you can always fish for mending. <laughs> I get that meme. Man, oh man, though. That seems like a fun challenge. Actually, though, I got mending. Um, in my 100 days uh, chunk lock playthrough, I got a mending book. It was an insane mending book. It was like mending efficiency 4 unbreaking 3 book that I fished out of the water trying to look for salmon. Because in that playthrough, I didn't have access to anything, really, for the for a while. So I did a lot of fishing. Um, like, I didn't even have access to a tree for the first, like, six days. Six Minecraft days. It's kind of crazy. That was an awesome... That was, I'm so proud of that playthrough. You guys should check out that video. It's a really good video. It's very silly. Oh, no. Did I wash the buttons away? It's okay. We'll be fine. Just put them back. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> what video? Uh, it's a uh, hundred days in chunk lock. It's a good video. It's a it's it's up there as one of my. I think it's one of my funniest videos. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go check that out. Um, but first, let's claim. Let's get our buttons back. Let's claim this. And that brings us up to 93.8%. Two towers remain. Two towers. Peak video. Yeah, you watched that one? Yeah, it's a peak video. It's good. Have you guys seen my building video? A lot of you haven't seen my building video. I can see it. I can tell by the numbers. I get it. It's not my usual thing. It's not my usual thing. But you know what? It's awesome. It's a good video. You should check it out. You should check it out. Plus, I build I literally build the Frozen Keep. It's the it's the end of my my adventure map. Building video was good. Thank you, Munch. Zoe says I saw it, it was amazing. Thank you, Luxie saw it. Oh, Jav, you've seen it. Alright, well you've all seen it then. Uh King says, Avid, are you gonna make more mini bosses? Um Yes. Trog! Hi, Trog! Hi, best friend! Yeah, I just called you my best friend in front of everybody, so now you have to say, either you have to denounce me as your best friend publicly, or you need to agree with me, forcing you into a contract of being my best friend. Pick one. <laughs> Hi. And Trog said, uh, your building video is also peak video. The algo, the algorithm was like, no, it's not. <laughs> the algorithm. It's like, I think, it's like my worst performing video in like recent memory i agree where do i sign oh yay trog best friend uh what video did you make when you were at your peak in youtube am i what does that mean <laughs> when i'm at my peak if i were to say what my peak my peak oh no <coughs> Saying, admitting to what your peak is admits that you are you are descending from said peak and nearing some kind of valley, which is that okay, it's fine. I'm just gonna go around the side. I mean, you know, growth was pretty amazing during the chunk lock era and during like some of those Lizzie videos. Those those definitely grew my channel and changed my audience significantly um, in really awesome ways. Um, so I would say that, but I'm in that era. <laughs> there's an entrance. I'm sure there's an entrance. I met you when you were the most active. Yeah, Chunk Lock era was probably when I was the most active. Um, and I probably should not have been the most active then because I was a new dad. Whoa. Oh, <gasps> it's a magical castle. Place of what? Oh, we got to read that. We got to read that. Oh. 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 Hey. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. No. Be cool. No. Oh, my gosh. Oh, they're mean. It's mean here. Uh, We got to act fast. 
Bed. Okay. Uh, there's bad dudes here. Did not expect that. Obviously, we don't have any um, of the food. But now I can show off the cool uh, laser sword. So we'll do that. Try Zenith. I was gonna. Okay, here we go. Hello? Oh, there's actual just beds here. Well, that's ten times easier. I can go take my bed then. It's like a magical avid flying through the sky. Yeah, it's so true, Luxie. It's so true. Evan, in the early days of your tutorials, I could not have imagined the channel and community would become so cool. Munch, I'm 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 in the same boat, man. It's sometimes like it's hard to see the forest through the trees, which is a phrase that is very confusing. But basically what it means is like you're in the middle of everything and it's hard to kind of like take a step back and see all the things that I've we've been able to do. Um, I'll read the advancement, I promise. Um, but you know, like, I am I am extremely proud of everything that has happened. And I don't know. I'm thinking about, like, the next phase of my channel and me. And it's interesting. Um, I, I want to finish Avid Adventures. And I, I think we could be, like, three videos away from that, which is... A little insane. The main story. The main story. Um, and and I I want to release it. It's we're at a point now. I just want to I want to release it. Um, so it's it's happening. And I think after that, I have to think about what happens after that. Um, it's post game. Yeah, I think there will be post game, and I think I will continue to work on it. But um, you know, all if I'm if I'm being candid, uh. Command blocks are... Oh, this is cool. Command blocks are, are not the direction. <laughs> I want to still code in Minecraft because that's what I'm good at. But command blocks, we'll have to see how much of that continues. Avid Adventures will always be command blocks. Uh, Jan says, I subscribed to you a long time ago, but I didn't start to be more active here until the stream. You released Avid Adventures for channel members, which is the same time I bought my membership. That's so cool. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. I will continue to develop Avid Adventures forever, kind of like how Dremel, where Dremel, what Dremel's done. And it's always been my plan. Um, so it's not like anything's going to go anywhere. But I do, I I want to release it. It's a, it's in my plan. By the way, Avid, if you denounce Command Box, who will possibly be there to defend them? I will not denounce them. You know how I feel about them. <laughs> it's a love-hate. Dav says you can buy memberships. Yeah, you can, you can play... I mean, can. Yeah, you can. It's true. No, it can't go forever. It will become a game, though. Avid Adventures? Oh, Dremel Development's gonna end. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will become a game. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. Dead Fire Alarm! <laughs> Hi, Logan. <laughs> Wait, not Logan. Wait. No, who, who renamed their... Oh, gosh, Dead Fire Alarm. Hang on. Brain. Leo? Is that you? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. <laughs> who did it? You did it. Leo? Is that you? I forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I called you the wrong name. I'm just trying to remember the lore. Let's read some lore. Trog says you can also uh, win a membership by winning ACC. That's so true. Okay. A young initiate came to me today with a curious discovery. She had stumbled upon the entrance to a cave, and upon peeking inside, cited a curious style of ancient architecture. This confused me immensely, as I had thought that we Starkin had been the only inhabitants on the island, barring the exceedingly rare witch or alchemist. For a group to have escaped our notice for centuries, why, they must have lived, worked, and died entirely underground. Oh, I've already been sent to uh, sent my initiate back to the uh, cave to find out more. Uh, it's likely nothing has lived here there for years. Ooh, there's something underground. Maybe we'll check that out. Dead fire alarm, if you can hear me. I forget who who you are. Like, I know, I know I was in Viking stream when you changed your name, and I forgot who you were before that, and I apologize. It's confusing for me. Oh, we go this way? Um, I'm excited. Avid community challenge, guys. What? Uh, this is a lot of amethyst. Avid community challenge is wrapping up. We're going to have to start thinking about the judging. That's going to be amazing. We have so much stuff. Avid button. 
I don't see a button. <gasps> Phantom Membrane. I, I will take that as well. Everything's filling up. Gonna have to use our shulkers. Whoa. Cool mushroom room. Mu it's the mushroom. It just le leads to this, though. That seems interesting. Oh, what's this? It's just a spyglass. Why? What's the point of that? What's the point of that? Avid button. Do you remember? I, I don't. I don't remember. I'm not sure if I remember. What's the spyglass for? It's not even like anything special. It's just a regular old spyglass. It's interesting. Okay. Well, I'm going to continue on with the adventure. If I can find other places to go, I will go there. But I I have my eyes focused, my, my eyes on the prize right now, which is to get every single tower. Hello. Oh, yeah, get crit. Oh, I'm low on health. Oh, it's bad. You die? Crit! Oh, it's bad! Nope. I have no food. You see that clutch, though? Blood! <laughs> ACC4, Portal of RC. Oh, yeah, I do. I do, I do. I do remember that. Okay, all right, all right. Food is going to be a problem today. It's fine. We'll make it work. You guys saw that clutch. You see how proud you are? I know you're proud of me. Um, and some of these amethysts, I wish I had gotten much sooner because uh, we could have used that in on the moon. Hey, Avid just joined. Did I miss anything? Nature Girl, welcome. No, you didn't miss much. We got one tower. Oh, two towers. We have two towers left before... Uh, get crit. Oh, it's bad again. Oh, it's bad. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'll do the same trick. Ha! Ah, I'm better than you. Look at you, you star-faced dummy. See you, king. Wait, did I miss the advancement? I haven't read it yet. Uh, place of conversions. For untold centuries, a small tower, a small order of the Vermari worshipped their goddess in the far-flung fortress. After she left, they were visited by a new subject for their adoration. Discovered the Starrise Bastion. Starrise. Fascinating. My boots are going to break soon. It's going to be the saddest day. I'm waiting to get hydrate. <laughs> Don't do it. There's no food in this place. It's just stupid amethyst everywhere. Okay. Continuing up. Um... I have no food. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, you know what? I do have food. Here we go. Get a little bit of saturation going. Good enough. It's fine. This is fine. Oh, that's a cool pattern on the floor. Zenith. Oh, yeah. I got to use that. Let's try that out, actually. I always love these interiors. These interiors are very pretty. With the terracottas and... Oh! Okay. You like... I bet you like amethyst, don't you? Are you an amethyst wasting shrine? Like all the other shrines that waste things? Yeah, deep and slightly. You know how much... I, you know what I could have done with all that amethyst, you jerk? I'm not even going to bother with you. Okay, but we did find another shrine to the gods. That's cool. And the castle continues up through this mountain. Oh, you can find every single uh, altar at Yataj. That makes sense. I figured. I figured that's how it would work. For those who didn't see the last stream, um, we found, like, or maybe it was the stream before that. We found Yataj, which is, like, the god, the realm of the gods, and it's insane. It's the it's the coolest build I've ever seen. Um, oh, that's, okay, that's where we just were. So this is it. <clears throat> so I might fly back to the tower now because I'm on ta I'm tower hunting. We're tower hunting today. That's how today's working. Eh. I did miss the jump. 
It's fine. Mirox says, I love Avid Adventures. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. I love it too. It's a lot of work, <laughs> but I do love it. Death counter. No deaths. Make more spy glasses? Why? Why? This is a cool island, though. I love I love this island a lot. Let's take a look. Let's, uh, let's bring our, our view distance up all the way and take a quick peek around. <coughs> Okay, the coastline there, pretty big mountain, crystals, a very simple, simple island. They said there was something underground. It's like a campsite over there. Interesting. But I'm tower hunting today. And I'm not even sure where that cave is. If I could see it from here, maybe, but I can't. So we fly. Yep. Yeah. You can fly faster if you get a bunch of speed. But yes, I have not died today. And I don't plan on it. A little bridge over there. That's cool. Oh, a cow! I will take some of your food, actually. If you'll give me some. May I? Kayla! You're named? Why is there a named cow on top of this mushroom? Mushroom. Who is Kayle? Well, Kayle, uh, best of luck to you. Okay. We have two towers remaining. We are now going to travel across the world. Because we're going to that pink island. Looks quite a bit bigger than these other two. So we have Dusk and Dawn. You're building a witch coven. Cool, Maroc. So cool. Um, the Grape Island really makes me just want to adventure. Grape Island. That's a name for it. So we're going to go to this spot, and we're going to go... Uh, wait, so that's north. So we're going to go south from the blue, the light blue. Not really sure what the light blue is. If anyone knows what the light blue one is, please let me know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's black jungle. Waterflow, you know everything. Thank you for helping me, as always. Black jungle, 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 black jungle. Black jungle, black jungle, black jungle, black jungle, black jungle, black jungle, black jungle. Black jungle. Okay, and we're gonna go south from here. We're out on the water today. Oh, yeah, this is such a cool place. It kind of looks like where our home is. I think it's close to where our house is, actually. You just know the jungle's light blue, water flow. The fact that you know that is impressive. Um, all right, so we need to head south from here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my slow falling kind of dissipate for a second. Close up my inventory. Let that go away. And then I'm going to fall real fast and get a bunch of speed. And hopefully that helps us fly a little faster too. You think you may just be hungry. You should eat if you're hungry. There we go. Get a lot of speed. That helps us travel a little faster with this glider. It ain't close. It's not close. It looked like it was quite a quite a long walk. So I guess we'll see how it goes. Um, but we have to head south. That's this direction. And uh, and we're just going to enjoy ourselves. Dremel's so nice, guys. Dremel's so nice. So, uh, guys, tonight I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch. Uh, it's the weekly Wednesday. Um, last, last Wednesday we played Among Us. And it was very silly. Um, if you haven't... If you haven't caught... If you didn't catch that... And you haven't seen the VOD on Twitch... Um, I basically became, oh my gosh, I, wow, that was almost a death. Um, I became an evil Elmo and killed every single one of my friends. That was fun. Hey, now. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Why are you flying so slow? Dang it, bunny. Whoa, this is cool over here. Oh, no. No. 
Oh, the pain! All right, y'all won. It's over. Yes, end poll. 70% of you, shame on you, 70% of you. <laughs> There's the death. So close. Oh, man, I got tripped up. I got tripped up. All right, well played, well played. I died. Back at it. I did die. <laughs> it happens every time. It happens every time. So yeah, guys, I've been working on AdventureBot. And for those who don't know what that is, um, which many of you may not, um, I've been trying to build uh, like a disc, like an RPG inside of Discord for the last year and a half, basically. And uh, it's 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 getting very close. There's thing there's things I want to release this year. I have a feeling. I have a feeling I'm going to be releasing Avid Adventures, like maybe. Avid Adventures, but definitely I'll be releasing um, Adventure Bot this year, which is pretty cool. And uh, it allows me Adventure Bot. It what it allows me Adventure Bot is uh, is an RPG built into Discord. Um, and what I'm working on right now is this questing system, where um, players can embark on quests that are written by machine learning and language models. And they can, like, navigate through the quests and make decisions almost as if um, they had, like, a dungeon master, like a personal dungeon master who was, like, na narrating the quest and making uh, d DC checks against um, all of the decisions. Um, I'm working on the kinks and things right now, but it it's looking really good. So I think AdventureBot's going to release this year. Yeah. And Avid Adventures. It's going to be a big year for me. Closing a lot of chapters. I just joined. What map is this? How's it going, Mickey? <laughs> this is Dremel. Slypador, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? How are you doing? This is Dremel. It is, uh, it's a video. It's not really a map. It's a video game built in Minecraft, though it is entirely Minecraft. There's nothing not Minecraft about it, um, but just they, they've just done an insanely, incredibly good job, um, and it's, it's the best thing you'll ever play or see. Um, the team is so fantastically uh, talented in every way. All right. All right. Just, just cut it out. Okay. Ready? <laughs> I just keep the wings on this time. Avid, could you hold your other weapon? I'm drawing something and I want to see it a little closer. Uh, Zenith? This one? Like this? Let's sleep. Actually, once we're out of this place, we'll sleep. South is that way. Wonky Builder 16, hello and welcome to the stream. These are pretty chill streams, so if you haven't seen a Dremel stream before, we just hang out. We explore a beautiful world. Um, today, I'm trying to kind of like not beat the game necessarily. Eh, no. Ooh, can I make it? I can make it. Yes, let's go. That was pretty sweet. You got to admit, that was a pretty sweet jump. This area is extremely dangerous, though. Wow. I dig that. I dig these, like, deep crevasses of lava. It's gorgeous. Currently both uh, exit for, excited for ACC4 results as well as the 2.2 re uh, release. Slypador, I'm so happy to hear that. And I'm so happy that you submitted something. You realize when you create an ACC map, and this is something that I don't talk about um, a lot because it's like a very intangible thing. But like, oh my gosh. This is bad. Um, but when you create an ACC map and I play through it and I stream it over and over and I make a video of it, um, stop, please. Just, okay, fine, fine. I won't go there. I won't go to your, I won't go there. Can I go over here? I stream it, I play it, I I make videos on it, I voice act it, um, I play it many times. I I get a deep, profound respect for the map maker, and uh, because like <clears throat> I see how much work went into it, I'm in there. Um, and so like Slipador, I'm excited to uh to play your map, and to just like see your brain, 
see how your brain works. It's cool. Like, when the second somebody submits an ACC map and, and becomes, like, an ACC submitter, um, like, you're forever immortalized. Like, if I see, like, if Munch, for instance, like, said something in YouTube, like, I instantly am like, that's Munch. Like, dragon, amazing dragon boss, the elder one. And I remember voice acting it and, like, being super impressed with all of the technical feats. Like, it's just cool. Um, helps anchor you in my brain. You're preparing your hydrate. Thanks, Jan. Nice try. I can't hydrate immediately, but I will see it. What are my favorite things about Axiom? Um, that's, that's relevant. That's a great question. Um, my favorite things about Axiom... Um, I like that it's a visual tool. It's very similar to, like, Photoshop or Blender. Oh, uh, wow. Or those kind of tools where um, it's, yeah, you're, you're kind of dragging and dropping and navigating interfaces. Um, I, I pick up those tools really quickly um, just because of how my brain works, and, and I picked up Axiom really quickly. Uh, and it's just helped me build so quickly. Right, so how do I un -anch how do I unanchor myself, Waterflow? Waterflow, you are a permanent part of the of my brain. I don't know how to get rid of you. Trust me, I'm trying. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Waterflow, you're like Waterflow, you're an OG. Whether you want to be or not. What do I hate about Axiom? Very little, if anything. I don't think I hate anything about Axiom. Most of the problems that I've had with Axiom are user error on my part, to be honest. Because I'm just like learning a new tool and trying to figure things out. All right, we're going south to this southern island. Oh, is that it right there? Do we already? Did I already find? That can't be. Did I find it? Is this the one? Or is this just an island? I'll go check it out. Your Axiom interface is bugging out? Oh, that's weird. I will say, okay, one thing. I have one thing I do not like about Axiom. Um, the one thing I don't like about Axiom is um, how it interacts with Replay Mod. Um, the What happens is when you're looking at a replay and you have Axiom on, um, the Axiom interface will pop up um, right at the beginning of the replay. And then it... Uh, it totally bugs out replay mod and I can't do anything. So I have to basically disable uh, Axiom when I'm uh, when I'm working with replays. The island before the island. Nice. Okay, cool. SMH cut mini boss somewhere near? There's a mini boss? Can you tell me where that is? I would love to fight said mini boss. Please. I mean, if we're going to fight any bosses today, we should probably figure out our food situation. Hello? Anybody home? I'm not asking. Oh. Eh. Oh, my gosh. We have no food. It's the worst. Probably need to stop by a village or something. We'll just hope that the island has it. Uh, envoys. Okay. Let's take a look at this real quick. Our great king has decided that in order to gain an advantage over our rivals is to try and gain land and join forces with the civilization that take that took root in the black jungle. We should send envoys and see if they are willing to join forces. I've received word from envoys they they were slaughtered by an army coming from the Tidal Dynasty. Ah, uh, we know about them. Only one survived and made it back here to our outpost. Apparently the dynasty's ruler, the Tide Queen, recalls our Old history where we sent prisoners to the mainland. She aims to wipe us from history. Fine by me. I'd rather stay out of the mainland conflicts, if I'm <laughs> to be honest. They're just like, all right, we gotta we gotta start some war. War happens. Uh maybe we're not gonna start some war. What? That's beautiful. A lotus compass. Cool. Prisoners. So a library of sorts. Avid cut mini boss means it was oh it was never added it was cut. Random box live. Avid. Hi J Games. Avid. Wait, did you? Okay, I was like I hope I didn't miss a raid. I was like I would have been. I was about to be very worried that I missed a raid message. 
which would be, you know, it's pretty usual, it's typical that I'm just a big dumb idiot. Um, but hi and welcome. We saw that you were on. Hi, Jay. Hello. Hi, Box. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I'm playing some Dremel, guys, uh, which is, and if you look at my health, I am doing very well. Yep. I am, uh, I am, I am winning. I'm winning Dremel. Uh, so, anyways, welcome to the stream. I hope you're having a good day. Evan, nice to see you too. You're doing so great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, I don't think there's anything in the basement here. So, guys, we just got this compass that points into the ocean. I'm not a, you know, I'm, I'm not a gambling man, but if I were to gamble, I would say that's probably going to point to the island that we're trying to get to. And maybe we'll have some food. <laughs> yeah, doing great. Uh, Ab yeah, I want to see some more mini bosses, by the way. There's Dremel mini bosses that I hear all about. I'm very interested in that. Uh, but okay, out into the ocean. Follow the compass. There's food on the island. Oh, that's good. Because I might need that. Ahoy! Wait, I can't use a spy. Oh, there we go. Ahoy! Now I can. We travel. <laughs> Jay says, me and Box are stalking Vintage and Ruby in lore right now while we aren't streaming. Avid, fix your mic. What's wrong with my mic? Hello? Do I sound okay? Hello? That's got to be a troll comment, right? Sounds okay to me. Yeah, better. Do you know how much this audio setup cost me? All right? Do you know? You have no idea. Okay. It was like... And carry the 10. Uh, more than I'm ever going to say, because I'm a little embarrassed about it. <laughs> Mike is fine. Thanks. Uh, Dremel, Slypador says on the YouTube side, says Dremel has mini bosses. You just never conveniently go in the direction of them. <laughs> I, ha I have a sense of, of avoiding danger. Hello, my peoples. I'm finally here. Hello, everybody. Look at that little island there. That's not the island we're going to, but there is an island there. Wow, there's so much to Dremel that I just don't give it credit for. It's amazing. My people says your mic sounds amazing. Wow, thank you. Thank you. I've, I've, I've worked very hard to pick the right equipment. No, that is the island you're going to. Eh, well, the Lotus Compass says to go this way, so... I think I'm going to trust the Lotus Compass. Unless, oh, hold on a second. Is it, is it, hold on a second. Oh, I see. Of course, yes. That is the island we're going to. <laughs> Wonky says, do you like season 10 of Hermitcraft? I, I haven't been as uh, religiously watching this season as I normally do. Um... But from what I've seen, I've enjoyed it. I've watched the whole Green Fishing Saga, and I appreciate the dedication to the bit. Um, that's something that uh, that's something that I try to do, and I like that a lot. How dare you have low render distance while playing this map? Well, when I'm at 32 chunks, Lipador, it gets a little it gets a little slow. I mean, what are my frames right now? I can't even read this dang thing. Oh, I have 60 frames. Well, who cares then? I guess I'll stay on 32 chunks until it's a problem. This island is worth thoroughly exploring, Godi says. Okay. Five hours later. Oh, no. Really? Is it going to be like that? Is this island like some gorgeous cherry quartz island? Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. The white cliffs. The compass points over to that. So we're going to go over there. Um, I, I feel like we're uh, <laughs> we're kind of like uh, we're like shipwrecked. Because we have no food. Like, there's really no sense in us going anywhere else. I'm, like, being really conservative with my energy. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to die out here. I didn't... I haven't set my spawn. But I'm very interested. This is the big island. This is the biggest island I saw on the map. And I do want to get to 100% today. So... We're, we'll explore. But also... You know... I want to... I want to get to 100% today. Uh, okay, uh, is that where it's pointing? Yes, that is where it's pointing. I'll take the boat. I was considering leaving the boat. But yeah, guys, I've been working on this, uh, 
I've been working on this que- this auto dungeon master questing system. And there are like all of these different AIs that I'm working with to try to make a dun- a real dungeon master. That is the lodestone. Okay, got it. Uh, now I assume I just go somewhere. You're not getting past 98% today. Sorry to break that to you. Hi, I already saw it. You ain't getting to 100 today. I will challenge you on that. Well, dang it. Well, I guess we'll get close. Wonky Builder, I do like your name. Um, if I'm going to jump like this... Okay, I'm just going to try to do my best. Um, yeah, I was thinking about doing a, a coding stream at some point. Um, because I just have a lot of fun, like, thinking through problems in software. And I know, like, a small subset of my audience would be interested in that. But if, if folks would be interested in that, let me know. Um... Because I, I have been working a lot on this bot, and I'm just learning so much. And like, there's all these patterns. Coding stream, purple rat. All right, purple rat. All right, yeah, I could, uh, I could get behind that. This this island is is very empty so far. That would be fun. Amazing. The goose says very interested. Holy cow. Okay. Huh. All right. My peoples. All right. I would. Wow. Second that. Oh wait, that's different. As water flows is saying that to uh, to Sly's comment. Yeah. Okay. It was, it is not very empty. It is very not empty. Got it. That's a hard way to say things. <laughs> that comment, I read it like three times and it still didn't make any sense. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to guess then towards the center part of the island is probably where we're going to find civilization and hopefully food because we're kind of in trouble. Um, I'm going to do something crazy because if it, if night comes and we get mobs around, I'm basic. there's, zero percent chance of survival i'm essentially out of food at this point so we're gonna get our bed ready we're gonna set our spawn we're gonna break the bed probably and we'll see where where we go from there sun is setting behind us oh goats can hurt us can't they i don't trust you Oh, I'm out of sprint. I am out of sprint. Let's get to the top of this mountain. I really hope there's a village or something. Because otherwise, yeah, otherwise it's gonna be we're gonna be in trouble. The moon is rising. If you kill a goat, I'm killing you. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Hey, okay, we're saved. We're saved. Help! I've been shipwrecked. Help! People! Civilization! Oh, yeah! You have food? I'm gonna assume this is like some kind of entrance? They have lots of food. Wonky Builder, I do like your name. This place is called Sad? S-A-H-D? Zoe, I'm gonna find a goat. Don't you worry. I'll find one. This stream. Uh, alright, people. Let me, uh, I do need it. I can feel the frames. So I'm just going to take, like, ten chunks away. <clears throat> you won't even notice. Why are the stairs so tall here? Is this a place of giants? It's also a very interesting staircase design that I don't mind. Purple rat, don't you dare. I won't hurt a goat. What is this? Sad fans? When the halfy fans walk in? I, I'm missing some Dremel lore, clearly. To understand what that is. But why is this? Is this a place of giants? Who was that? Who sleeps here? I'm going to die soon. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die really soon. There needs to be a real bed somewhere. Hello? I guess I could make some bread super quickly, but... I'm also kind of interested in what is this... What's going on here? No, that's a place of a rich person. I didn't know that rich people were really tall and, like... When you so when you get a lot of money you become a, a a giant human being and you can and you need king beds and stuff. Do you become Shaquille O'Neal when you become rich? Is that canon in life? Cause if so, sign me up. Cream dreams? Excuse me? <laughs> what? Ew, rich people. <laughs> See you, Wonky Builder. 
No, but you wouldn't want to uh, have extremely large stairs. Yeah, I wouldn't want. Yeah, I don't want large stairs if that's cool with you. Um, I'm gonna leave that bed there. Hey, somebody dying? Oh, hey, leave them alone. I'm the hero. Okay, so we're still looking for food. Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened to you? I guess I'll eat some flesh for now. I don't know, man. Most rich people I see are a lot shorter than everyone else. Interesting observation. Jan says, kill every goat you find. Purple Rat says, kill a goat. Well, if I have to. Hey, how's it going? You're not a food guy. Oh, but you have stuff. Apples, uh, I'll take. Let's, let's sort out our inventory real quick here. <clears throat> this is going to be my runic vessel of junk. I don't need quartz stairs. Uh, I don't need that. Okay, and we're going to grab some apples. Maybe we'll throw what what's in our bundles in here as well. We'll remember stuff's in here, right, guys? Right? <laughs> and then we can grab some of the diamonds. Oh, I was like, uh, excuse me? Ugh, got the junk. It's all right. All right, so let's take a look at the rest of this town. Um, because I'm very interested now. Like... This island, oh my gosh, this like beautiful, like Japanese and styled architecture is gorgeous. Oh, I, oh, yeah, oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Slybador says Daniel Radcliffe is like 5'5, five, five, so is he really? Don't kill goats. Oh, it's true, Goaty. <laughs> Goaty, I forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, okay. If you're not going to have a button, I'm going to just break down your door and read your journal. I started to wonder whether it would ever happen. Only a couple years, I thought, living here in Morda, Mora, and then I'd be away. But months flew by and years turned into decades. I met Carv. The kids came and left beyond the Ark. Carv followed. For two months, I grieved. Only now, despite 30 long years teaching and writing about it, does Radha Aseth join the path. Recently, it has become clear why most pilgrims are old. For most of my life, I figured that it was because only the wise can appreciate the patterns that govern the world around us. But the truth is so much simpler. The only ones able to let go of all worldly attachments to pursue a goal with every fiber of their being are those with few attachments left at all. I asked Great Mari whether he thought this showed a lack of character on my part, but he just smiled and warmly embraced me. As is his way, he didn't say much, but he did tell me the following words, which I will never forget. Just like the moons, Dramari follow cycles, Rada, that you have begun to grasp that isn't a flaw. Though he didn't say anything else, this was enough for me to make up my mind. I apologize to Kara, Bob, and all others who brought me joy daily in this place, and most of all, I apologize to the children. We will never meet again. I expect whoever reads this, I encourage you to continue down the path when the time is right, never stop learning. Amen. Sorry I'm late. Hey, Ollie, welcome to the stream. I'm in love with the Dremel lore writers. Yeah, I know. The writing in Dremel is so good. So good. There's just so many little stories to be told. Unbreaking, I will not take. Rest of that, pretty, pretty decent. Still don't really have our food situation figured out. So, if you guys could help me out with that. Anyone in the town? No. Oh, we have meat. We have meat, ladies and gentlemen. We have meat. Oh, yeah. We got some meat. Thank you for your meat. He's blushing. <laughs> Thank you for the hydration reminder. Noble Winters 15, hello and welcome. Noble Winters, what did you do with the other 14 Noble Winters? 
How could you? <laughs> There's a very large wheat farm in Sad. Just go there. I don't like wheat. I feel like I'm I feel like I, I'm in a, in a position in this game where I've played Dremel for like 30, 40 hours and I probably shouldn't be eating bread anymore. But you know, maybe that's just me being spoiled. That's just a theory. I still haven't watched a single map hat video, so I really don't I just say that because I, I know other people say that. Noble, you absorbed them. Oh dear. You're stronger than I you ever possibly we could ever possibly could have imagined. You used bread in the final fight? You're just spoiled? <laughs> I mean I am spoiled. That is how that is how I work. <laughs> That's part of the bit. Um, let's just finish this mutton here, and then we will head down, down. We have a little bit of meat now. We got that meat. There's more meat. More meat. We got this meat. Also, have you fought a bedrock wither? No. I have not fought a bedrock wither. Have you? Jan says, I'm going to fish a mending book in Avid Adventures. Yeah, do it. Spoiler. The final boss is the final boss. Unbelievable. Ollie asks, how long will you keep streaming? I usually go for about three, three and a half hours. So, however long that is, minus however long I've been going. Um, but then I'm also going to be streaming again tonight. So, I haven't been streaming a lot, but sometimes Wednesdays are just really good for doing that. So, I'll be playing Lethal Company with my friends tonight. So, do, do stop by again for that. Woo! 30,000 channel points! Nice magic! Congrats! Congrats. Oh, it's so beautiful over here. Let's go check out this island, guys. I'm so excited. I don't even know. Is this the right way? This seems like uh, the wrong way. So we'll go the other way. Romani says, I'm going to create antimatter. I mean, it's not impossible to do. The problem is it will in in immediately annihilate itself unless you're in some kind of insane vacuum. Because when it combines with regular matter, it explodes. Nature Girl says, I'm so annoyed right now. I'm forced to play Minecraft with a full keyboard gameplay for tonight, and I don't want to. Full keyboard? What's a full keyboard? You mean like you're playing Java rather than Bedrock or something? And I believe in you. Lumity and stuff. Hey, Evan, I just got home from surgery. Lumity, I hope your surgery went well, and I hope you're doing okay. Make sure to rest up. Eat plenty of uh, ice cream and things that make you feel good. Um, whatever that may be, and uh, and take care of yourself. Don't try to do too much. Uh, Ollie says, won't be able to make the lethal stream. It starts at 2.45 a.m. my time. Well, at least you can make this one then. You know, I tried, to, I tried to make it work for everybody. Now, look at this temple, guys. Isn't that so pretty? Ah, the builders of Dremel. They are good. The name is Remne. Rem... Nay, you have mispronounced it. I will never forgive you. <laughs> Remne. I can I can work with that. Remni. 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 We have a book. The Path. Yeah. Another book. Oh boy. Dremel? You have Lord all over our faces. And now I have the burden of this lore. In my inventory and in my body. I swear, if you lure me one more time, it's Runa Catalyst. All right, let's read this lore. We're going to lore for the sake of lore. Part one first. Dremel did what? <laughs> As creatures blessed with memory, we can see the cycles in nature that others cannot. When a rock gibbon or a horse sees water in a spring flow off the falls into the river and out to sea, there is no indication that it will return. Yet, when we see the rain, our memories tell us that the very water is returning to its lofty perch. Similarly, when the moons rise and the blaze across the horizon only to set once again, what bee or butterfly of the woods could predict that they will ever rise again? And yet, when the first rays of dawn break the chill of the night, we know that the Tehran will run its course once more. 
Moreover, when the great philosophers, magicians, and sages finally breathe their last breath, perhaps their faithful dogs will whine and hang their heads, but we know that their wisdom will once again be reborn in the clear eyes of the infant. Indeed, our power of memory is great, but it is not all powerful. While we can in intuit, huh, interesting. While we can intuit the workings of these cycles, we are not permitted to view uh, the transmutations which change the setting Tehran to the rising, or the waters of the ocean to the rain, or the old soul to the new. Thus, for every arc of the natural cycle, we can see modifying the world. There must be a hidden arc of twilight which returns to its starting point. That made me want to get my dog. Sad has the most beautiful town in my mind. Cool, Ollie. We'll have to check it out. Remni. A uh, full keyboard is when you don't play with a mouse. It's just a bedrock thing. Oh my gosh, that sounds awful, Nature Girl. Why do you? Why are you being forced to do that? Can't you just use a mouse? What? Jan just said, I, I used a mending rod on a fishing book to get a mending, a mending book on a fishing rod to get another mending book. Nice. Okay. I want to go down to that town now, guys. So let's go check it out. So pretty. I love when people use wheat fields. It's such a, it's such a great color. Um, I'm going to fly down, I think, because I'm mega lazy. Woo. Here we go. It's beautiful, guys. Oh, my. Look where we are. The sun, the rays coming through this gorgeous town. Thank you for the music reminder. I will do that. You don't like wheat, but you like the... Sorry, I can't see the full thing that you said because the YouTube button is missing. So I'll wait for somebody else to say something and I can see the whole thing. I like the book. Is that? I think you said book, maybe. Oh, it's so cool. Hello? The Forgotten City. In the sunset. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, yeah. All right. Where's that music at? There it is. Let's enjoy. Wow. Wow. You can barely hear it. I love it. There's so much to look at. I'm gonna let the music roll for a minute here and just enjoy. Just look around. <laughs> Maybe we'll make it daytime. Hey, I'm gonna borrow your bed. More coal. Yes. Meat. Yeah, Chris makes bangers. I wish I could get a soundtrack like that. <laughs> Chris is a very talented musician. It's very cool to see. It's very cool to listen to uh, Chris's music. Because um, there's so many different styles that he's capable of producing. I mean, there's just so much to appreciate in Dremel. And that's just one of the many things. But, like, should never be over uh, yeah overlooked. Boss themes slap so much, too. I wouldn't know. I've only found one boss. Those are the best? Oh, no way. That's pretty cool. I gotta have to check them out. All right, well, I'm gonna take a peek around this village. We're just gonna hang out. How's everybody's Wednesdays going? Tell me how your day, if you wanna tell me how your day's going, just let me know. We'll talk about stuff. We'll hang out. You can actually fight one at your stage of progress, by the way. <clears throat> well, that's good. You didn't hear that from me. I mean, I want to fight a boss. Tell me where to go. Point me and I'll fight it. I'll probably win, too. Instantly. Have you explored Lodar yet? I've explored a bit of Lodar. Not all of it. I know there's a lot I've missed. Maybe I've seen like half of Lodar, if I were to guess, based on what people have said to me. Bread. 
Ugh, fine, I'll take some bread. If I have to. <coughs> no pointing? Oh. Well, then I'll just have to get into spectator mode and fly around. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find it. Remne says, I enjoy making and fighting bosses until it takes me two hours to kill them. Two hours? Yeah. That's a boss that I probably would be like, I'm good. How the heck do I get... I Am I, am I in some kind of magic house? Oh, here it is. Will you play the full release of Dremel 2.2? I'd consider it. If it's like... I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. If, if it's significantly different. Um, different enough. But keep in mind... Playing this version of Dremel has taken me how long? Do you guys even know? When did I start? When did, does anybody know when my first Dremel stream was? The Magic House of ADHD. It's true, Purple Rat. It's true. Um, if anybody knows how long I've been playing Dremel, then you know that's how long it's taken me already to beat this one. Content is the same. Yeah, that's what I figured. You're guessing no, but there could be something like Gilded, but Dremel. There could be. There could be. That would be interesting. You just sell glass, huh? I mean, I guess it makes sense. Well, this is this is where you get glass. See, this is what Mo Yang should do for villagers. We were talking about this. They should just make me uh, an infinite glass shop. Where are the glass shops? Though everyone have to stick together. Yeah, and it's kind of almost too big. Um, it definitely is too big. Like, for a, for a multiplayer experience, people don't really care about, like, what you do as much as, like, the interactions between people that they know. That's generally, like, how you, like, that's endgame Minecrafting content. Magic says, oh, wait, I've been here. Sure, I accidentally looked at the location, but this was one of my first locations. This is one of your first locations you went out into the water? As your very first location. Ambitious. We're still looking for a tower. Where the heck's the tower on this island? Hey, how's it going? Oh, is this like a little bar? A brewery of, of sorts? Hey. You sell fish? Nice. It's cool. I already saw the tower. I did? I didn't get it. Did I? I saw it? What? Avid, could you make the 100 Traps dungeon a boss and every room takes 1 HP from it? <laughs> that seems insane. I don't... I'm not going to commit to that, but I, I, I love the, the craziness of that idea. Why do they have so many horns? Oh, why do they... Yeah, why do they have many horns? That's their... their Dramari. They're, they're horn, horny, horn people. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Meat! Speaking of, meat! How much meat can we get? Oh, there's meat everywhere. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble. <laughs> there wasn't that much meat either in this kitchen. Shame on you. Slipador, get your head out of the gutter. Get your, get your, get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> They're horned people. For virtuo, of course. <laughs> Goaty. Yeah. Precisely. Yes, yeah, shame on them. <laughs> no. We should celebrate that. They let their let your freak flags fly, Dramari. Do what you gotta do. I don't even know what that means. I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> uh, before I get myself in more trouble. Bro, have you seen Virtuo? It's justified. I mean, I've seen Maleths, and he's pretty studly. So, that's where I stand. And Dremel's a snake. Some people are like, that's cool. Some people are into that. There's the tower! Let's go over. New lore for Dremel. 
Yeah, I'm not going to read that, <laughs> even though I said it. Avid, when's the next Avid Adventures? It's going to be a while. I'm taking a minute. My building video took a lot of time, and, and uh, it didn't, you know, I just got a little bit of a, a reminder that I'm still a small creator. Let's just say that. So, uh, I am... Uh, I love this wheat field. I'm, I'm going to focus on the things that need to be done right now, which is ACC4. Um, I also have a sponsored video coming out, too, actually. Um, and I really do hope that you guys enjoy them because I have found something that's kind of cool. They found me. Um, I don't want to say too much, but I'll be doing two videos on a... It's Minecraft. Um... It's pretty cool. Thank you. Congrats on the sponsor. Thank you. It's actually really cool because the reason they're a sponsor is from something that I made and then they made it and they want me to, and, I, and I've checked it out and it's actually pretty cool. <coughs> a sponsor, two sponsored videos. Yes, two sponsored videos in Minecraft. Uh, nee says my one hour of drawing a day ran out for for Izzy Ib, Ibzy paint. I don't know why you would, but you want to see an unfinished drawing, I'll post in the Discord. Of course I do, niece. Of course I do. Avid's going to do a 1,000 player civilization. No, I'm not going to do that. Do I know Dr. Rat? I know of Dr. Rat. Yes, I know of Dr. Rat. Very cool creator. Got big on like a water splashing video, if I remember correctly. Very simple stuff. That tells you guys. People want simple things. Rodent intensifies. Purple rat, is it you? Zoe says, same sponsor for both. Yes. And it was it was a very generous sponsorship. Um, it's really cool, guys, that I get to get paid to do this. Um, and, uh, and the sponsor is really cool, too. Because it's not just like... It's not a normal sponsor. It's a very special sponsor. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been sick for two weeks. 1,000 people simulate Avsom and spoiler happens. That's actually a really cool idea. I, my friend, I'm friends with um, Captain Lights, who does those videos. I should tell him that. He does a lot of the simulation videos. And actually, it's fun. Like um, Captain Lights did a, a Lion King one that I got to be in. I was a monkey. Um, for a brief second. And then Trog and Duvid. I think Trog might have been Simba. No. Trog was Simba's dad. I can't remember. But it's like 1,000 people or 500 people or whatever simulate the Lion King. I have a fun friend group. This also reminds me of MCC Island. And how I'm not good at it. <laughs> I doubt someone would finish Dremel and dry, dive into the lore just for that. Yeah, you never know. <clears throat> uh, Dr. Rat made an Eldritch Being for uh, 500000 and one cent. Yeah, I think I saw... Was that for Mr. Beast? Was that the Mr. Beast one? I'll be honest, not something I would normally have clicked. Uh, I did click on it, and I enjoyed it. Um, it sounded like somebody else got like the Mr. Beast contract, and then... No! I put a water bucket down. And then like they, they contracted Dr. Rat, and yeah, it's pretty cool. Unless it's a different one. And good for Dr. Rat for getting paid for things. 50 grand's a pretty decent chunk of change. Okay. Why am I bad at Oh, why am I bad at everything? Why? Pine Hippie, hello and welcome. Uh, hey, what's up, man? I don't know if you're a parkour player, but there's a new strategy I found out. Help you greatly in survival. Would you like to hear it? Whenever somebody on Twitch says, like, primes me with something, usually, then, the the response is some kind of nefarious thing. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a Twitch thing, but I am saying it's a Twitch pattern. So, Pine Hippie, do you want to break the mold of the typical Twitch user? I want to see you. Tell me. Tell me, tell me your new strategy, please. Surprise, surprise me. It's a Twitch thing. It's a Twitch thing. We'll find out. Uh, let's see. Hang on a second here. Uh, Pope Arrest is because a $20 bill slides under the door. They are really cool and nice and super cool and handsome. <laughs> yes, Purple Rat. Uh, didn't it not get put in a video by Mr. 
beast i don't know i have no idea i don't follow the the things um i barely have time to follow my own stuff new follower new follower my peoples thank you so much for the follow they canceled it what wait what <laughs> pine hippie pine hippie you did it you did it um good job <laughs> Um, but yes, wait, Mr. V what do you mean the video got canceled? How does that work? How's the video? Did it, was that part of the purple rat video? I'm so confused. Tell me all the lore. They still got paid, but he decided not to do the video. I mean, oh mama. I mean, if he still got paid, I, that's probably fine. I've heard like getting into a Mr. Beast video as a creator is really not good for your channel as a whole. Um, I have some pretty good evidence to back that up. So maybe it's almost for the best that like he didn't get into the video so he doesn't have to deal with Mr. Beast's audience who would subscribe to him and then not ever watch him again, um, which is the typical um, behavior. I just noticed they never follow on Twitch. My peoples, thank you so much for following on Twitch. Um, the video was posted on someone else's channel? Interesting. Wow. The, I said the purple rat video. I got confused. Did I say purple rat video? Well, thanks a lot, rat. You really got me. The doctor rat video. Thank you, doctor rat. Purple rat, you're the real rat in my life. So doctor rat is just like a, is a nobody. You're the real somebody. All right, here we go. Apparently, we're at 96.9%. Apparently, we have one more to do. Well, that's 100%. One tower, right? The thing is, this is the mountain of holes, and I don't know how to get in. Bye, Magic. Bye. Uh, how do I get in? How do I get in? How do I get in? How do I do it? How do I get in? Because I've been to the door. It says it needs to be blasted with some kind of energy. Play the map now. People do not tell him. Hi, Eric, and welcome to the stream. Do I? All right. How about this? It's complicated. Oh, great. There's still a cool thing on Saad. That's over there. All right, tell me this. Tell me this. Do I have what I need to open the door? That's all I'm asking. Do I have what I need? If the answer is no, then I'll go back to, to, to the island and see the cool thing. Uh, Lego says, I love your vids. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. And thanks for being here. Only thing you need is time. Well, let me tell you a little bit about me and how I don't have that. You have half of this. You do not have the knowledge. You need only knowledge. But I've seen the whole map. Allegedly. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back to Saad for a little bit. And, uh... I mean, gosh, we're at 96% of the towers. You haven't. Legos, I'm a fan of your work. Thank you so much. I try to make the best of the work that I can. And I appreciate that. Blast the door! I don't think that's how it works, Purple Rat. Um, all right, what's the cool thing on Sod? What do you guys want to see on Sod? Tell me everything. Forgot Lodar. There's a lot on there. There is a lot on Lodar. I could go to Lodar. Okay, what do people want? Do you want me to explore more of Sod, or do you want me to go to Lodar? Merrick says, I'm making a Minecraft school of magic where you can uh, make largening potions. Cool. I love that shader. I'm glad you like it. It's complimentary. Sod, sod. Moon and then sod? But I'm already at sod. <clears throat> oh, Ram Ramni. Rem Remni. Sorry. I'm going to do my best. Is that actually what I do? <laughs> Just wait for Waterflow to say, no spoilers. Spoilers out of the chat. Moon, very cool. All right, Pine Hippie, hit me with those strategies. All right, let's go to the moon. I have some ideas of where I want to go on the moon anyways. And you're not, you should not take guesses for facts. I just wait for you to uh, delete the message, and then I know it's real. Uh, okay, so that's the ship. We're going to go this way. 
I know a direction I want to go. If I can remember, I need to get high up. That's always the hardest part in, in this. It's so hard to get up high. So hard. Avid, why is the world going up so slow? What does that mean? What does that mean? We wonder. We ponder these questions that chat has for us on a daily basis. Pine Hippie, I have no idea what that means. And I'm not even going to read it. <laughs> I have no idea what that means. Uh, okay, let's go this way. We're on the moon. For those who don't know now, we're on a moon. Yes, there are moons. Get over it. <laughs> uh, I don't think um, Aphelion's weapons are implemented. Um, also, they wouldn't be able to reach Yav either way. That's true, because it's orbiting the moon, right? Uh, let's go this way. I see a bridge. We'll do a little bit of exploration on the moon. But I want to get into the I want to get into the whole the holy place. How do I get into the holy place? Whoa. This is cool. Look at those trees. Those are crazy. It's orbiting it. Yes, look up in the sky. Where are you? That seems like a galaxy who knows look up at the sky another fun thing about the moon is i can't sleep here so if anyone's like it's too dark i'm sorry <laughs> pine hippie cheered a hundred bits thank you <laughs> i really appreciate that oh there's music no worries for trolling pine hippie i'm used to it I'm used to it. Uh, someone spotted it when you first arrived, and I was nervous. You were nervous? You were so nervous. Nervous that it got that they spotted the space station? Spotted what? I'm also interested in, um, I think meteors fall from the sky. If I explore enough around, I should be able to get one or two. Oh, Athleon, got it. Good night, rat. Sleep well. Oh, I took a picture of that. It's like a cool ballista up there. When I first arrived at Lodar, I was at like 25% plus. Yeah, that sounds about right. Early sleeper. Godi, I think they're in Europe. <laughs> Oh, the sun's rising on the beautiful moon. Okay, let's take a look around. I'm sure there's some stuff that we want to see. Answer me this, chat, who knows. Is exploring Lodar the way to get me to open that door? Because you can't just present me with a door and say, Nah, you'll never be able to open it, you idiot. You just give up. Why don't you just give up now on opening a door? Yes. Let's go, Minecraft things! Yeah, let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> oh, come on, Waterfall. It's not that big of a hint. All that does is it makes me want to be in the place you want me to be. Whoa. I'm willing to hang out here now. Because I know that it helps me achieve the objective that I set forth. Which is to get into that door. If I can, I have an hour and a half, at least, maybe more. I will stream until I get into that stupid door. How about that? All right, team. Who's in? Anyone else in? Uh, nee says, I mean, it's 2130 for Purple Rat, if I'm not wrong. Nice, how do you know everyone's time zones? Re. Nice, Kamado. Nice. I'll take that as a yes. All right, we're going to this thing first because it looks cool. What was that sound? Hmm. Oh. Hello? Oh, it's a slime. Hey. Do you explode when you uh, die? I'm pretty sure they do, right? 
They drop Deep Slate. Weird, but okay. Marok guessed? Hey, wait a second. They guessed and you deleted it? You're trying to hide from... You're trying to hide the answers from me. You're so mean. I've I've worked hard at this Dremel thing, you know. Months. <laughs> Months to play in Dremel. You're trying to hide them, of course, of course. Avid water Avid I know, but Waterflow says I shouldn't tell. <laughs> I've got the trick. Okay, all we do is we revoke Waterflow's mod privileges. You can say it, I can read it, then I add their mod privileges back, and then we're good. Gosh darn it. It's fine. No, I won't do that. I'll work for it. I'm sure it's somewhere here on Lodar. Uh, well, you guys said it was, so <laughs> now I'm definitely sure. This is like an abandoned tower of sorts. There's Dremel music, so I'm going to enjoy that. Very pretty music. Based, do that. See, Cyberdor, when you tell me to do things, that's the time when I think, hmm, maybe I shouldn't do that thing. You know, you kind of have this, uh, this mischievous way about you, you know? Oh, did I hear something explode? Hello? What's exploding? Oh, those are the slimes. Okay, then don't end stream. I won't end stream. <laughs> that part I that part I've already said. That part Wow, look at this area, guys. Oh, it's so cool. Get to the top of this tower, because as we know in Dremel, all of the good stuff Ah I hit my head. All of the good stuff is at the top of things or at the bottom of things. Which makes sense. That's in every video game. It's not just a Dremel. It's not unique to Dremel. I want to get up there. It really is. <laughs> it's every game. It's every game. <clears throat> I give Dremel a hard time because it's like literally perfect. Well, according to Kiko, there's all this stuff they want to do. But as a game developer, you're never really satisfied with your work. There's always things that you're going to leave behind. I'm also hearing the Dremel melody in this uh, song a little bit. Hey, we're in. What was that sound? Hello? What is this? History of the Roian Empire. Our history has uh, tenuous and humble beginnings. Initially, our people lived in Nar Naraj Nar Narharja, but were exiled by the pious Latamari. Due to rebellious nature and unorthodox religion views, uh, religious views, we settled here and founded the free lands of Roe, a sanctuary for all heterodox Tamari. Over time, more and more Tamari from varied clans came to settle in the free lands, and we became known as an area of great religious tolerance. However, trouble was brewing. The original clans exiled from Narja became calcified in their bureaucracy and began to emulate the very structures of power that drove them out of Narja, Narhaja, uh, they began to crack down on any other interpretations of teachings of the aspects and instituted a state cult defined by opposition to Malus, Virtuo, and Dremel as imposters assuming the identity of the primal tree. After this crackdown, the free lands of Rohe became known as the Rohean Empire, and the Republican ethos that previously characterized the lands were replaced by brutal theocracy. This period was thankfully very short-lived, and the empire was quickly overthrown, and religious freedom was reinstated. Controversially, the new republic refused to change the name of the state, nor would they relinquish the lands conquered and... To this day, we are known as the Rohean Empire. Additionally, the state cult instituted by the old empire became the new normal, which has led to a conflict with the conservative uh, clergy of Naraja. Despite this, I see a bright future ahead for the Rohean Empire. Doesn't seem like things worked out for them, to be honest, with this destroyed castle. <laughs> Marak says, I really want to say. You're going to get in trouble, Marak. What is, I don't even know what that means. Ultimate weapon, ultimate weapon. What does that mean? It's probably that spear that I have. It's probably. But there's something more. 
There's something more, isn't there? Okay, let's get to the top of this tower. Dorito. It's the Dorito. The Dorito gets me in there? The Dorito sucks. <laughs> it must be, it must be get. it might, okay, how do I get up this tower? Uh, we'll try it. But first, we'll take a little more look around here. Nee says at the same time as mine, so that's why I remember. And I'm not stalking every single Discord member. <laughs> but it would be kind of funny if you... Hey, I found a Stone of Agony. Still don't know what those do. But thanks. What's the Dorito? I actually know what the Dorito is. I actually know what the Dorito is. Waterflow is just deleting every message now. Waterflow? What is happening? <laughs> Maybe the Agony Stones help you. Yeah, I have a few of them. Agony Stones, also known as Kidney Stones. Same thing. I'm not de deleting messages, I'm just oppressing Sly. I mean, that's fair. Nice, you are very active in the Discord. And Nice, I hope you liked my, uh, my walkthrough of your map with Marmalade. See, that's the thing. When somebody submits an Avid Community Challenge... Excuse me. An avid community challenge map. You are forever immortalized in my brain because I'm making videos for you. I'm, I know now I associate this really awesome experience with with you. And then I remember you forever. There was like nothing here, by the way. What accent is Jeff? Uh, I don't know yet. I haven't thought of his voice he's very hitchhiker's guide inspired so he might be british okay let's fly whoa that's cool which way do i go if i fly that way which way is that i don't even know what's going on in chat right now I'm gonna, I'll do my best to follow. Oh, that's cool, too. Gosh, there's so much to see in this moon. Uh, I'm gonna go that way. That looks interesting. Give me a second. Get 32 chunks, actually. I'll just see what's interesting. Ah, okay. Oh, there's a little village over there. I feel like the moon, like, they stepped up, the Dremel team stepped up their game even more with the design of things. Let's go there. That seems cool. Let's go there. YouTube chat is just going crazy. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to go I'm going to go in here and take a quick look and see if there's this looks like something a boss would be in. You know what? I'm just going to skip over that part of going in the inside, dealing with dangers, and just go right to the top. <clears throat> A fire resistance potion. Okay. I hear bad guys. Let's put on our good stuff. <clears throat> These boots are going to die soon. Nice says it's quite peaceful in the Twitch chat. Nice, how did your name change color? How does that work? How does, how does your name change color on Twitch? How did you do that? Do you choose that? Give me Jeff or give me death. <laughs> you clicked a couple buttons. Interesting. I didn't know you could change the color of your name. Hello? Oh, hey. Who were you? What was his name? He just died so quickly, I didn't even get a chance to see who I killed. Stupid fixes. Um, all right, well, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> unnamed. Oh, he's got meat, though. Meat, 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 meat. He's got that meat. Let's, let's cook it. Look at how smart I am. This is a big brain move. Let's throw that on. Oh. 
Wow, niece, you can change your name to all different colors. But niece, I know you as pink. Now it's gonna be so hard for me to remember who you are. It's fine, I'll figure it out. Oh, I love this Dremel music, yo. It is good. Um, all right, let's see here. Meat is popping off. Give me all of it. Yeah, I'm hungry. Do I have a bag of meat? A meat bag, if you will? I have a food bag. Meat. Wait, I was pink? Yeah, you were pink, and now you're purple. Wasn't I red? It looks pretty pink. That's pink. If I were to call that a color, I'd call that color pink. More pork chops. Okay. This guy was eating lots of food. Lots of pork. Um, we'll let that cook, and we'll come back. Oh, a totem. That's really good. Take some of the scales. As always, my inventory is a mess. I like this guy's house, though. He's definitely... A diamond. Give meat, please. All right, so I'm going to explore this moon a little bit more. Then I'm going to use my scroll of sanctuary to go home. I'm going to try to use my spear on that door. It's a hunch. But I'm going to try. Man, I don't know why he was living here. Seems like a terrible place to live. Property values are probably garbage. No one's going to buy that house. Avid, what is your audience? What is your audience on? That'll be a waste of time. You don't have that time, kind of time. Hmm. Explore the moon, I guess. I like how the soul sand's blue. That might be my shader. No, that soul sand's real blue. That is cool. Could have been investing. I, you know, I just want to find cool things. That's all. Just want to see some cool things on the on the beautiful moon. Take a look around. See if we can find anything. Invest in rocket fuel. Tell me more. Ooh, I see something over that way. Something in the sky. Oh, wait a second. I have a feeling I know what that is. It's somewhere we've been before. Hold on a second. What was that sound? Oh, was that a... Hold the phone. Did an asteroid just fall? Was that just an asteroid? I think I heard an asteroid. Yeah, there's an asteroid. Uh, okay. Where... Where is it? I want it. I want it, but it's, they're so hard to find. Nice, I should stop changing colors. You wanted this color, right? You're a different color now. Your last color was the color you normally are. Where did, where did that asteroid land? The pink! Nice, you can be any color you want to be. Yeah, so we've been here. Um, this crazy looking area over here. Um, yeah, we've been to that. We've already been to that. And I believe that is the portal out to get to uh, Maleth's old house. So if going this way is the direction we've already been, then I think I want to go that way. I've decided. So let's get up pretty high and see if we can just float our way across the terrain. All right, you can tell me your amazing Brandium to link green to me. It's Brandium. All right, you're green now, niece. You're green now. In my Brandium.
Waterfield says 2.2 with a team of 18 members. Previously, 2.1 was around 3. Three more years of dev time has removed classes. Remove classes? What does that mean? Were there classes in Dremel? What is that? Okay, top of this mountain, and then we're just going to glide that way. Oh, just answering someone. Okay, gotcha. I didn't know what it was. 2.1 had classes? What was the benefit to that? Oh, wait. One S at the end? Okay. Anyways. Uh, and what was like... Yeah, like, so you could be like a ranger, a mage. Like, is that the idea? And then they got rid of them? What, were they like too annoying or too restrictive or something? I can see that being kind of fun. Okay, here goes nothing, guys. And out we glide. It just wasn't needed with the new gear. Got it. Okay, interesting. All right, what do we see? Keep our eyes open. Um, looks like some kind of water area. It's a little dark. Like, can I see that? I can't make it daytime. Uh, there's that village that we saw already. There's the crazy thing. Keep your eyes open. Okay. I will keep my eyes open, Goaty. The classes were for extra speed, health, or attack speed. The class system was totally replaced with the artisan and artifact items. Gotcha. Yeah, those are cool. Oh, there's a tower straight ahead. A little, little guy. Yeah, so with progression here, you might not have a lot of time between streams since knowledge is the only thing keeping you from finishing the game. And that knowledge can be forgotten. Yeah, probably. I mean, I probably stream like once every two weeks. I think there's going to have to be a point where I just am like, okay. Pretending that I did all of these streams in rapid succession and understood everything that I needed to know. How do I get to the... How do I get into the door? <laughs> I want to get into that door. Oh, that's a thing. There's something in the sky. Oh, love this place. Go down. But sky. No, you know what, water flow? If you're gonna if you're gonna backseat me when I don't when I don't need you, and then you won't backseat me when I need you, I'm going to the sky thing. That's how this works. There's all this other stuff. Look at that. Who even knows what that could be? I'm flying so slow. No, I'm the one saying it. Oh, I did the thing. I did the clutch, guys gets an extra speed if I go down there that's 15 20 minutes of stuck in that hole water oh thank you water I know the minecraft terrain terrain is amazing here niece I agree what is that Excuse me? Do I murder? I I murder you now, snake of the water? I thought I wasn't supposed to be able to sleep here. Okay, maybe no. I murder snake. I murder snake water. It's time. I am now interested. I am now interested in murdering the snake. Hello, water snake. Oh, there's a bed. Right, but it's like permanently nighttime here. Depth Strider. Oh, a loyalty trident. This homemade trident was made by an unlucky treasure hunter. Stories speak of a morning when Dare loudly announced a challenge to the entire moon. Let it be heard in a sea of cave lies and a trident of great strength and value. If you seek it, defeat all foes who lie within. You shall earn a, the weapon's might. Oh, great. You're going to... I'm doing this, aren't I? I'm getting sucked into this already, aren't I? Three minutes of water breathing. Perfect. Great. Murder snake? 
Yeah, I'm about to commit the murder snake. Uh, hello? Oh, it's so cool with the shaders. Snake? There you are. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Come back here. Uh, good thing I kept on. I held on to this. Uh, uh, let's go, murder snake. I will cut you down, snake. Okay, to be clear, I think this snake here is going to be removed in 2.2, just idly swimming. Should just tell you about the design. This snake here is going to be removed. Also, my patch with Ascendance is a... There's a bug with Ascendance here? Oh, cool. Good to know. Murder snake, where did you go? Hello? I'm very confused. But the landscape is so pretty. I want to go to that rainbow up there. But I'm also curious as to what this thing is in the water. There's something over there. Oh, that's where we're going. <laughs> Avid has an innate ability of reading something and then only listening to half of it. Yes. ADHD. <laughs> is this where I can get the trident? I've already, I've already, I'm just going to take a quick peeksies just to make sure. Oh boy, this is a place I can go, huh? Oh no. Well, I got to look in here real quick. And then I'll go back to the murder snake. I promise. I promise you. Hmm. Quick peek. What's in here? I mean, the light drew me in. Is it nothing? No, there's stuff in here. I am so distracted. I am so, I've got, I've become so ridiculously distracted by this cave. King, welcome back. We're on a moon inside of a cave. Oh, cave. I found the trident. Oh, yeah. Maybe, actually. Uh, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, lesser. Scalp. Superior. Does it have loyalty one? It's the same one as the other one that I have. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I guess we'll be throwing this around. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna get this super amazing legendary trident in this cave, guys, because this is what happened: is the snake the snake pulled me in, and now, and now I can, I'm I'm pulled into whatever this is gonna be. <laughs> Another one, a lesser, I assume. I don't need more of these, man. Hello? What's that? Some kind of copper plumbing tube? Interesting. Avid trust the cave. Okay, I trust the cave. <clears throat> but the cave is not going to... Why are there so many of these all lying around? The cave is not going to get me into the question mark door. Avid round six. Usum versus Cassius. Usum. But Cassius will have more of a role in my story in the not-too-distant future. Prismarine, hello! It did look like a trumpet, niece. It did. Welcome, and thank you for the reminder to hydrate. Appreciate you. What's uh, going on, Numbers? I'm in a cave with a bunch of tridents everywhere. What?
Okay, this is cool. Challenger's Grotto? I don't have a bed. That concerns me. Jump. Yeah. I got that. It's just like... What am I gonna... I just gotta think for a second. Because, like, if this is some kind of boss or whatever... Yeah, I'm gonna throw these books out. I'm just not gonna read that. It's fine. Uh, I need some food in my hot bar. Um... Challengers? I don't... Mm. Down we go. We cool? Hello? That's not good. Um, I don't have my boat. Crap. Oh, no. Oh, the snake. Oh, it's the snake. It's the snake. Oh, I'm dead. I'm 99% sure I'm going to die here. Also, this music rocks. Oh, let's go. Look at him. Hey, hi. No funny business. They're too thick for my blade. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, chill out. Got him. I get it. I get it. In your face. Oh my. Oh, he's got multiple heads now. Holy, this is so cool. Oh, he's hurting me. What? Okay. Uh, I instant died. Um, okay. Uh, I guess I go back. That was cool. Oh, that boss was so cool. Uh, let's go back in there. We need to prepare a little bit, a little bit more. Um, especially get a bed going in there. A Hydra. Yeah, his head's like split. I need, I'm going to collect more of those tridents just in case this one breaks. Um, maybe it's best if I have a boat in there. Yeah, big trident boy. Have it, don't misgender Bernice. I'm sorry, she, they, there's one head. It's a sea serpent. It seemed to have two heads when I hit it, but I guess we'll see. The model of the thing is amazing. It's awesome. We're going to go back, and this time we're going we're gonna to do things a little bit better. I think I, if I had a boat, I don't like the idea of like swimming around, but oh, the boat might be hard for me because I'm going to have to be getting in and out. I think it's still good to have a boat. So I'm going to have a boat. She's your favorite boss, Numbers? Oh, sick. All right. Water flow, I'm sorry I didn't listen to you about going into the water and, and all that. I said you weren't backseat driving me in the right way. This is cool. It only exists because I insisted on having a big worm. Go away. Yeah, that's what the tridents were. Exactly. That makes sense. I don't have, like... Mm, I have food. Don't love the food I have, but I have food. Can I combine these? Yeah, but it does... It gets rid of all the good stuff. Okay. Hey, I just said go down for a joke. <laughs> It's true, I, but you, you could have said, go down for something awesome, and I'd be like, yes, sir. You didn't even go down. It's true. I did kind of accidentally. It was my decision at the end. That's how you get me to do anything, is to make me think it was my idea. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I have a boat now. I'm going to really strategize about this. I got eaten. I got one shot. So clearly, you don't want to get anywhere near the mouth. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. 
I wish Minecraft would add an underwater boss like that. Yeah, I know. Minecraft is sorely lacking in the boss department, which is why Minecraft boss content does so well. Or at least it did. I'm not sure if it does well anymore. But it did for a long time. Rip 100% today. Yeah, I don't think it's possible given the information that I've been that I I've been given. <laughs> um, that 100% is just not going to happen because apparently I need some knowledge and <clears throat> I'm in the worst part is I may have that knowledge but I don't know it. <laughs> so yeah, got lots of thoughts and ideas, but yeah, spreading out my Dremel playthrough might have hurt my ability to retain knowledge and know what to do. You don't have that knowledge. Okay, well, that's good. At least I don't have it. That's better than, like, you missed it. <clears throat> because then I'd be like, where do I go back to? Um, I'm going to guess that this boss probably, <clears throat> excuse me, to a 24-hour Dremel stream when? When my entire life has changed and I don't have obligations. Prison Marine says it's the last day of school and I managed to get sick. I am not functioning correctly. That's okay. Just relax and enjoy. We've set our spawn here, I think. Yep, respawn point set. So now we should be able to rinse and repeat on this boss as much as we want. I'm, um, I don't, yeah, I definitely want that chest plate on. And then I'm going to try to use my boat. Re let's reorganize our inventory. Let's see here. Throw away tridents. Totem. I don't think a shield's going to help all that much, to be honest. So we're going to go with totem. And we can always put the second totem on. And we boat. We boating. I really love this beautiful little grotto here. It's so cool. I didn't even get a chance to appreciate it. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's so cool, this area. Amazing. Food in the hot bar. Thank you. Three. <laughs> Doomed. Maybe I'll, uh... Ugh. This is problematic. Just bundle shuffling. You guys ever bundle shuffle? I guess I'll I'll do the bread. Ugh. Remember that helmet? I I do. I do. Eyebiter can deflect custom projectiles. Boss has custom projectiles. A shield isn't going to help me. Oh, well that's interesting. I do still have that helmet water flow. It's just back at the base. It's going to be hard to get to. But I do see why that would be helpful now. Well, we'll do our best. Hey, you, uh, yeah. You can't live. I should probably get to my boat and not drown. Apex Predator. Such good music. Amazing. Hey, what's happening? Look at him. Murder snake. Okay. Wow. He's just... Oh my gosh. Maybe get in the tower? I doubt the tower is a safe place. Wow, so cool. Oh, I'm doomed. Okay, I'm just watching. Right now, I'm just watching and just kind of learning the music I know. Where you at, bae? <laughs> These projectiles are neat. I'm not really sure if I understand them yet. Probably have five mode is better for this. Thank you for the follow. Over on Twitch. This is the coolest thing ever. A boat boss. 
Oh, okay, he fires tridents. Oh, he's stuck. Wow. Such a cool creature. It's hard it's a lot harder to aim though in F5. Yeah, the particles are just get away. Yeah. Yeah, just keep moving. It's basically moving in circles. Hey, how's it going? I got a hit. I'm understanding. Chris, this music is insane, dude. Like, literally, is so good. Big hit. Oh, the mouth is open. Keep that mouth closed, Bernice. Oh! Uh -huh. I'm gonna need to get out of the boat. Well, that's fine. I'll get out of the boat when I when I when it's time. Get whacked, Bernice. What a name. Oh! The Vernals. Ver Ven Venrelis. Vernalis. Bernice, they just call. I get that now. We're the name. Ow. First hit. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. We're getting there. It's chipping away kind of deal. Did my trident break? Oh, no, it's back. The boss was initially called Bernice. That's hilarious. In the file, she's called Bernice. That's so cool. No! Oh, my gosh. We got a little overconfident. Bernice, be nice. Bernice, please chill. <laughs> Getting down to half. I think boat issue, to be honest. What does boat issue mean? Did you not expect people to have a boat? She is ferocious. She's awesome. You can most likely do it. Do what? Oh, I got hit. Oh, I got her all wrapped up. Gotta move. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. I'm getting tilted. Permanent water breathing in the arena would be cool. I do have um, a water breathing potion. How about a conduit? I was stuck. I was stuck. Whoa. Is she still around? Wait, does she leave now? Is she going back to her house? So what did I feel about that strategy? It felt, uh, felt kind of slow. Yeah, she blocked me. She really did. Um, it felt slow. Beat the boss. I will beat the boss. No doubt about that. Oh, my boots are finally broken. You know what? Honestly, it's a blessing. Hmm. Excuse me? You think it's the boat? All right. Maybe we'll go in with water breathing this time. We have it. And we can block underwater. So let's do it. Ugh, but there's the stupid guardians around. And I... You... What are these guys? Who... 
Yeah, go underwater, they say. Okay, we have water breathing now. Let's play it right. This fight has some major bugs in the beta build. Have fun. Cool. Oh, we almost just got eaten. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way I'm... There's no way. Does she stick around? She's just hanging. Okay, yeah, I assume this is maybe one of those bugs. I need to wait for her to do her thing. Oh, it's just shredding my gear. You know what? I don't even care about my gear. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Pro uh, Pierogi the Grub God. Hey, Avid. How's it going? Broxy, yes, I found a giant worm creature that apparently doesn't want to leave me alone right now. Probably because I'm too close to it. So I'm going to try to, like, just move away a little bit. Off gear? I lost my water breathing, so there goes my water breathing potion. Um, my gear is going to break real soon. So maybe, maybe I, I just, like, don't risk my gear. And uh, I'm just going to throw my gear in here. I, I need to keep that. That gear, if I lose this gear, I lose, like, that's basically the f form of... What do you want from me? What do you want? What do I... Please, just leave me alone. I'm trying to put my gear away. She mad. Is there a way to make her uh, despawn? Give me one moment. Let's fix the newer patches. You did say it was buggy. It's okay. Okay. All right. I've taken all of my gear off because I just can't risk it. Um, I may lose my shield at some point, though. At least Eyebiter can do stuff. We're going to wait a second here, guys, because apparently I need to despawn Bernice. That's such a cool boss. The, I'm surely going to die. There is 0% chance I'm going to be able to beat this. Now you have to one-up it. 0% chance of that. <laughs> I'm basically just infinitely dying. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Numbers, for that. I'm running this because the boss is bugged because I'm in beta. It's called dodging. I'm swimming! Did it work? Oh, yeah. Wait. Did it? Is she leaving? If we go away... Is that it? Is she going home? She's she's not listening. Are you sure? Numbers, are you sure? I'm stuck. I'm leaving. No, please. She's a one hit kill too. I'm so doomed. This is going to be one of those times where I'm like, all right, this is how the stream ends today, is I either beat this boss or I tr or I lose 100 times. Broxy, thank you for gifting a membership. Appreciate you. Membership gift detected. Thank you so much for that. All right, you've given me the inspiration to try to finish this. Let's see if I can do it. Thank you, Numbers, for that. Execute as. Okay. It, did I did I do it? 
Is she gone? <laughs> she seems like she's still there. Is she leaving? Maybe that's her leaving. Yes, okay. All right, well, here goes nothing. I don't it's not like I have gear to break. So, um You're a proud member of the Cult of Jiminy. 4 or 5 to No, she's back. How do I know? Oh, God, please, why? What do you want from me? Welcome, new member. Is that an Elder Guardian? Maybe I'm winning. Maybe I just go down there and I just You know what? I'm going in. I'm going in. Bring it on. Honestly, I feel like I'm in a different phase of the fight now. <sighs> Stupid drowned. I'm in. I think her head's gone. Oh, yeah. Her head is gone. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, Bernice. What happened to you? <laughs> there... I was impaled. <laughs> the head's gone. The head's gone, but the body remains. Is she despawning now? Is that her despawning? Wait, did I... I think she's going back home? I think I did it. It's living without a head. Perhaps I just won. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> we okay, we ain't doing this. Oh no. <laughs> to be fair, guys, I am in the beta. These things have been patched. I just won the fight, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no. It's not the way I would have wanted to win. I was actually really looking forward to a challenge. Is that? Come on. <laughs> yeah, that happened. That happened. Don't go in. But why? Why? What else would I do? Why wouldn't I go in? I don't understand. Don't go in. Don't? We'll try to reset it. Okay. No, -uh, you're a cheater. Everyone knows that. Do I have a door? My problem now is I can't I can't really breathe for very long. 100% deserve win. I I mean, I have to agree with you on that. Let me just take a quick peek see there. There's always a reset. But look at that. It's right there. Avid, no cheating. I didn't cheat. If there's a way to reset it, I will reset it and I'll fight it. If there's a way to reset it, I will. There's a bigger boss in there, really? In here? That'd be cool. If there's a way to reset it, I will. Yeah, I'll do it. Brock, to just say, Avid, let me just say that there is more where that came from, but it is locked behind a certain game called Undertale. Oh, Broxy, you're really, you're really working it. Okay, I'll try that. I'll try that, numbers. Let me see here. Okay. Then scoreboard. Players. Reset. Bernice cleared. You end it with a question mark. Fascinating to indicate it's a bull. Okay. Let's see if you get what you wanted. Hey everybody, would you look at that? I decided to play it right, but I'm playing the in the boat. I can't swim. It's swimming's not working for me. <clears throat> I'm playing in the boat. You are not cheating today. <laughs> you mean like uh 
what I did to uh, what's his face? <laughs> the calamity glove guy. <coughs> what's going on, Bernice? Hey. I feel like the boat is the best mobility option. Whoa, that was close. Just keep moving. How's it going? Whacked. Two hits. I wonder how many hits it is. No, 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 no. She's doing the thing. Love this music so much. Icky. It's hard when you're in a boat because you can't prime a trident while you're rowing and you literally can't stop rowing. So you kind of have to like, I see I primed the trident and then I can keep rowing again now that the trident is primed. See that? So then I can do that. So you kind of like, the same with eating food, which I realize I have none in my hot bar. Whacked. Okay, we keep moving. Oh no. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. You notice I have no food in my hotbar, guys. Hi. I missed, somehow. No, we go back. I have a strategy. Oh wait, uh, this is a problem, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, can I just reset? No, she's going back. Oh, we're good, okay. I think the problem potentially is that my bed is a little too close to her. So just to be safe, I'm also going to no food this apparently. <laughs> just to be safe, I'm going to um, bring my bed up just a bit further away from the arena. It's just a hunch. But I don't want to I don't want to mess with the natural balance of uh, this boss. Oh, there's more of these by the way. That's convenient. Um yeah, so let's let's put our bed like up here so that way like I'm just far enough away from the arena. I'll be smart. She back. She back. Yeah, okay. All right, all right. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I think the boat strategy is a good one. There are some there are some problems with it. Oh, puffer fish. And also... Did I set my spawn? Oops. Uh, it apparently says I did, so... I'm trying to think of if I should just like jump and take a bunch of fall damage real quick. Probably, yeah. Okay. All right, we're we're good. This is how we play. No armor, so that way we can try as many times as we want. Boat strat. Oh, there's a dolphin. What's up, dude? That would help a lot. That is interesting, actually. I still don't like the concept of swimming in this boss. Can I use Ascendance? Boat Strat is not getting past the first phase. Do not use Ascendance? Why? Please. Oh no. Are you saying Ascendance is how I beat every single boss? <laughs> you can't in the release. Okay. If you say so.
Oh, that was close. I'm all about boat strats right now. I just feel comfortable in the boat. You can't blame me for that. I wonder what the second phase is all about. Because, you know, I've already beat it, beaten it, so... <laughs> I'm kind of an expert on all things this boss. All right, you. What do you got for me? I love the cello in this. Hi. Another successful hit. Miss. I'm getting caught up. Caught up in the scales. It's interesting how these have like a collision box. I don't know how you did that, but that's really cool. That's a hit. And another. Woo! Oh, baby. I don't think I can get into my inventory to heal. Now what? <laughs> Maybe no food and armor wasn't the best idea. Yeah, but the problem is, if you're gonna make a game that's as hard as Dark Souls, you need to make sure that it's you can fight a boss 100 times in a row without needing to resupply and stuff. So no armor is to allow me to try as many times as I can. It's just sort of a byproduct. I ran into a puffer fish. It's just a byproduct of armor having degradation. The fight isn't actually that hard, says you. <laughs> I need to take care of the trident guys here real quick. Got him. Let's get the other trident guy. Yeah, I would have liked food. I think having food would be nice. No food, no armor, no water breathing, no depth strider. Yeah, intentionally don't have all of those incredibly essential things. Yeah, no food, literally no food. I have one pork chop to my name. It's just perfect, okay. So I'm gonna make the assumption that those guys down there need to be killed. They're like a uh, protective guys, <laughs> for lack of a better word, seeing as they're highlighted. So I might have to go down there, except weapons. Well, we'll do our best. Wish me luck. Oh, I'm nearly dead. Good. Good start. I'm gonna die. But at least I would respawn with the totem. Kind of take that, I guess, right? I don't know. Then I get some regen. I'm all in on this fight. Why not? 
Hey, Avid, watched the Dune the other day. You may not remember the discussion we had on Dune, the last Dremel stream, but I agree with you. Dune is better than Star Wars. Yes, let's go, Christy. Eat the fish. Okay. Gosh, what a mess. Cool. It's just... Just... Out of everything. Those are the two totems I've ever found. So, you know. Solid. I don't think I'm gonna... Oh boy, I mean... I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. <laughs> We're gonna try. We're nearly dying like every step of the way, basically. I've lost my trident. I have another one, thankfully. This fight has five phases. Right on. One hit. Dead. So we've popped two totems. We have no water breathing potion. If I use my armor, it will most certainly break, and it's pretty good armor. Um, no food. Did I already say that? Um, I've got 23 apples. We're going in. Four golden apples, too. We're going in. You got apples. Yeah, we're going to try. We're going to try. Come back later. Everyone always says come back later, but I'm at the end game. At least use iron armor. I don't even think I have iron armor. Plus, it's not going to help all that much. I died like I insta died to that bite um, with my full gear, and all it did was just break all my gear. So to me, we're in. No food, <laughs> no water breathing, <laughs> no. You know what? This is it. This is how we get good. This this fight actually though I will say is is uh way way more interesting than and and feels more fair, um, than what the heck was that guy? That I got Calamity from. That guy. You are in endgame without any armor or food. You're telling me I win this game with knowledge. So that's what we're going to do. That's not good. I am I'm in a crevasse. These apples are not great food. Waterflow says, you have so much armor at home. Yeah, but the tough part is I'm so far away from a tower 
That by the time I go all the way home and then come all the way back, I need to be done streaming. So maybe that will be what we have to do. Basically, I have two options at this moment, Waterflow. Continue fighting this boss or end the stream. And I continue fighting this boss. <laughs> Plus, I'm learning a little bit. I'm learning a little bit. But yeah, I definitely have some problems with uh, mobility in this arena. I definitely have some problems with, the, with mobility. Uh, if you're falling and your parachute breaks, at least you have the rest of your life to fix it. <laughs> That's funny. I do have gapples. I want to save my gapples for like towards the end. If I can. Come on, Bernice. If you say Bernice isn't hard, there's that, that seems crazy to me. No bodily functions, no breathing, no living, nothing. Because I had all that super OP gear on and I, uh, I died to one little mouth bite. There seems to be a recurring theme of Avid dying before the boss is half. I say half. I think it just ends, but I assume you mean half dead. Come on, you stupid snake. How did that miss? The scales are too thick for my blade. I don't need all that fancy stuff. The secret to the fight is to never lose eyes on the head. I have figured that out, yeah. I have figured that out. As I've already lost eyes on the head. There it is. Hey. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it like, uh, I'll give it, because if I, yeah, basically what I said is it, I'm so far away from my house that if I go there, the stream's, the stream's got to end. So I'll, I'll try to. Hello? So I'll try to fight it at least like two or three more times. And then uh, if it doesn't work, then I'll just, I'll, I guess I'll do this next stream. Her pathfinding is actually pretty complex. Uh, yeah, I could, I, 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 I could tell that, yeah. Let's do it. Come on, you stupid. You can just go check out the rainbow thingy. I've got 20 minutes left. So I think this is where we, this is where we end. One way or another. <clears throat> I mean, technically, we already won, but, you know. Hi, Dolphin. Like, how do you even code a worm boss in Minecraft? Waterflow's done it. That was ACC1. wonder if it was inspired by this one. Where's the head? Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, mama! <laughs> that looked like it hit. Okay. There's a hit on your face. I wonder how those work. I'm trying to understand those, those projectiles. It seems like it picks a position where I was. It says, okay, then we're gonna fire projectiles there. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So just don't be where you were. Got it. 
Okay, where's her head at? There she is. Hit. That was a hit. It went through her teeth. There, you want to play this game where we circle? Yeah, you know, I'm gonna break your teeth. There, you like that? Oh, I'm dead. Oh boy, that got close. <laughs> Hello. There's a hit. Woo! Keep moving, keep moving. You can sprint in a boat. I will take this time to eat a gapple. Okay, that is a phase. We have some dudes that have spawned now. He broke my boat. Ultimate jerk move, forcing me into the water. Okay, is this how we're gonna play? I need to get my boat. I need to be quick. I don't want to lose any health underwater. I am poisoned by a puffer fish, of course. Dolphin is helping a lot. Where did I get this resistance? Oh, I ate a gapple, that's right. Man, water breathing would be awesome. Okay. Got him. One, two left. Good night. Woo, that was close. Please, how deep is this? Gosh. Okay, we need to move quickly. And this is not fast enough. I'm gonna get some air. I see him down there. Okay, we're in the we're in trouble again. Did she just heal? What is that, like, flashing? What was that? Is she invulnerable again? Bug? Oh boy. Oh, a puffer fish. I'm eating a golden apple. I'm just gonna pray that it she she can be hit. Okay. Everything is happening all at once. Do I need to... What do I... Is she invulnerable? She seems invulnerable now. <laughs> nice one, water flow. So am I, am I, uh, am I bug, did I bug out the boss? Oh no, it's bugged, but I was doing so well. I'm still doing well. I, 
I I will feel robbed. I will definitely go in and take that trident if I if it early phase three. Yeah, tell me what what phase. So can't be hit. What do I do? Hi, Christy. I think I don't think I can do anything now, right? Do I? But didn't I just do this phase? And I don't see any glowy guys downstairs for me to kill. Is this normal? Is this normal? You just did this phase, yeah. It is a bug. So am I basically just... I guess gotta die? Yeah, because she seems invulnerable now. <gasps> Sky Knight! Sorry, I was focused on the boss. Sorry. Hi. Hi, Sky Knight. Good to see you. I think I uh, I think I bugged it, and now I'm I'm gonna have to die. We were doing really well too that time. I don't know what the other. Oh wait, hang on a second. I see the other guys. I might be able to fix this. Yeah, I'll just continue. Do I have my boat? I do. Okay, let's try this. We we might be able to do something. Breathe. Yes. Got two of them. See what I can do. Going up and down like crazy. Oh. Well, things were definitely weird. I think I've also gotten her to still be angry at me. <laughs> oh, man. I was doing so well. I don't think having to redo that phase was my downfall. Um, but definitely learned a little bit from that. So I'll give it another go. If, uh, if I can get her to go away. She can go away and then we'll try. I'll try. I'll give it another try. We should leave the fight for later. Water flow. You need to realize that you led me down this path, and now, and now, well, once you. Oh, is she stuck in the? Wait, that's it. I can still win. Here's how I can still win. Hey, Bernice. Oh yeah. Hey yeah. You got a guardian now. That's cool. Ava, there's probably several meteors above you. Yeah, it sounds like there's lots of meteors falling down. Neil, hi! I'm just in this very relaxing um, arena where there is totally no danger to me at all. I'm going to kill this guardian. Sunk cost fallacy. At this point, I'm going in and I'm grabbing that trident. <laughs> at this point, at this point, I've earned it. For sure, I've earned it. <laughs> and I'm not looking back. No way. You know what? I'm also going to try to use Ascendance right now. Give me a second. Here, what happens when I do this? Does this kill you? Hey, Avid, two things. One, when's the next Avid Adventures episode? Two, are you still possessed by Ohm? Just wondering. Love your work. Next Avid Adventures episode is probably months at this point. I got so much other stuff I'm going to work on in the meantime. Um, so... You know, just enjoy the stuff in between. We're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. 
Um, I think I can't tell you if I'm possessed by Ulm or not. I have no idea. Sounds crazy, though. All right, I'm going in. I'm amazed she's at buggy because I was the only one to ever reproduce uh, one of her major bugs. I, yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, the door is closed now. And I have, dang it, and I have mining fatigue. I did it to myself. I can leave Bernice in peace now? Hmm. Well, now that everything's broken, I've used all of my items and weapons. Um, and, and Bernice bugged on me. I'm thinking. You stupid. You're stupid. Come back when you're stronger. I'm at the end of the game. <laughs> I guess I didn't, I don't have any of my stuff, but that's because... The way that this works is all my stuff will break if I try multiple times. All right. Well, like I said, <laughs> it was either going to be I beat Bernice. Oh, look, those people are glowing now. Either I beat Bernice or uh, or we end the stream. You have nothing. I do have all my stuff, but I probably need to go home, repair it, blech, get water breathing, blech, prepare for it, blech. All right. Well. Hold on a second. If I had TNT and sand, could I get into the room with the trident? Or is it fully encased in <laughs> can i just not bother with her hmm <laughs> it's just a little mining fatigue it's bedrock dang it oh well all right we'll do the scroll of sanctuary and go home defeated and battered and beaten worth a shot Cool. <laughs> See you later, YouTube. Goodbye. Have a nice day.